I still have the footage. Yeah, my it, it's highlighted. I got it highlighted too. Okay, so it still exists out there. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Maybe maybe we should um maybe we Probably should do this sorry. thing. Yeah. Let me find my um my my previously on Dungeons and Doubloons music. <clears throat> Previously on Dungeons and Doubloons, they fucked around at a tournament for like six fucking hours, making the dungeon master go absolutely fucking insane. They earned a whole bunch of gold for reasons unclear, and also a bunch of experience points. But that's seriously all that you guys did for the last like two sessions. So <laughs> isn't much to recap. Well, I'm sorry. People are missing it. I'm sorry. We couldn't do more last session. Dang, I'm dang, <laughs> dang, Jet lag. dang. I mean, the dungeon master is controlling the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I'm saying they could have railroaded us pretty easily. Oh, man. Suddenly half the fairgrounds caught on fire. You guys Listen. better Listen. go. You're railroading you railroading is like the worst sin for a dungeon master. OK, this is not a thing that I will do. If y'all decide you want to like a year down the road. That's probably a good idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or for the next episode when we spend the whole day inside like a tavern. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, speaking of railroading, uh, you guys are back at the, uh, back at your boat, just sort of hanging out, counting your gold, doing, uh, whatever it is that you were doing at your, uh, at your ship. Trying to figure out how this relates to railroading. You know what railroading is? Huh? You not know what railroading is? Is that no no, this is my first time doing anything DD related. Railroading so, yeah. is basically where Lore says, Oh man, basically everything is conspiring against you to force you down the main storyline that I have chosen. Oh, okay. So basically he's forcing the story. So if we decide to be dicks and hang out in a pub or something like that. Yeah, basically and not the town gets catching fire or something <laughs> the guards would start looking for us <laughs> mysteriously and we would have to get out of town. You have to leave. Yeah. Yes. You, uh, you're hanging out back, back around your boat, plotting your next move when a, uh, a purple robed figure appears, uh, next to the, you know, like the, the ramp up to your boat. Uh, legs is standing out front. So he walks inside and says, Hey, hey, watch, there's, uh, th there's somebody out front that, uh, wants to talk to you. Uh, I guess uh, we look right. over the railing and see who's there. All right. So you look over uh, and you see the uh, the robed figure that had initially directed you to the prophet. The old man? Sure is good to see you. Oh, I've been God, looking geez. all over for you. Set sail! Hurry! <laughs> Bring up the ramp, Braveheart! <laughs> okay, I'm on it! <laughs> Sorry, no solicitors. All right. So, are you guys actually just fucking off? <laughs> you, just you, you can if you want. I'm just saying. <laughs> How can we help you, sir? Well, and I'm sure glad that I have uh, come back across you. Oh, hang here. on, that's sad. It's, it's uh. See, there's been a lot of uh, concern and behavior recently. I haven't been able to find the prophet ever since he left town. And now there's this, uh, this crazy woman walking around town saying she's going to eat our souls or something. Crazy really? woman? Is, I thought, we got, is that the I thought one we got instructions to go to like the island that had like a volcano next to it. Like we had to go past that to leave. Hey, robe guy. Do you know anything about the volcano island? Well, no. I swear, to, I swear to God, we got like instructions from like the guard because like we came out over there. Then they were like, "Yeah, yeah you would, you would talk. You you had been looking around for." Uh, oh wait, no, that was for me. That was for like the Macius imposter, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The okay. Um, Bromir imposter. What was the what was her what's her fucking name again? Which uh the old old bitch Sylvia, Errol. Uh, Evelyn. Evelyn. Okay. 
Evelyn's mm-hmm. dead, though. Mm, right? No, she's not. She's not. <clears throat> well, the the person formerly known as Evelyn may or may not still be alive, but there's certainly something that looks like. Well, Evelyn. she disappeared when we were beating the shit out of her in, in the in the fucking tower. But uh, uh, I have I have have insider knowledge in that she's still alive because I was fucking tasked with recharging the fucking crystal for the demon. So he's not happy with her. She's still out there. Hmm. Yes, I believe that may be the uh, the person that's uh, walking around town saying she's going to do all these terrible things. So she's around, uh, like a goddamn, what's the hell is this place called? Halfwater. So she's around Halfwater, like right now, or she was here earlier? We've been or... here like a month. How do you know the name? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm trying to get figured out. I thought we were going to sail off at the beginning of this episode. Now it turns out, oh, fuck you. You were on a side quest, main quest, right here in fucking town. Well, I don't know what he wants us to do. I don't know either, man. Well, I'm we trying should to figure this out. Ask he him. knows she was here. What do you want, man? Well, uh, we're kind of banged was... up here. I, 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 I recognize that. I was just hoping that maybe... um. Yeah, I mean, you're adventurers, right? You've been doing all sorts of stuff that's all sorts of dangerous. You certainly you won the tournament and everything. That was quite impressive, I must say, if you ever... Well, when was Evelyn last seen in town? The crazy lady. Well, the last time I saw her, she was uh, over to the northwest side of town, uh, pretty, pretty much opposite of where we are right now. She was... How long ago was And that? when was that? Oh, just about 20 minutes ago before I ran straight here. Before you... <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. It's like high, super athletic guy in a robes here. <laughs> ne- never <laughs> underestimate <laughs> some yeah. random dude Jesus. with a voice like this. <laughs> Fuck. All right, so wait, so... The beggar, I mean... Was... She was saying she was going to blow up the whole town. I was hoping you could stop her from doing that. Like, like right now, did she give a something? did she give a time? Yeah, the bit guard. The guard we came up. Remember, we got t- you got just got captured by the guard, and then we broke out, and then they said, "Hey, go find fucking fake Bromir." Remember, Royal yeah, Navy. Where the, where the hell are they? Yeah, I don't know. That they're the job. Sounds like they're slacking. If there's a want to be terrorist run around town. Well, unless it's just a beggar and no one's listening to her, but this cloaked gentleman. Wait, what's this guy's name again? Herbert. (laughs) (laughs) Hello? It's up to you guys. Hello? Hello? Okay, now you can hear me. Oh, you've been saying things? No, the the, the fucking Discord wants me to connect my Facebook. It says here, connect your Facebook account to discover (laughs) friends on Discord. And for whatever reason, I can't can't talk on Discord unless I close the thing, but the stupid thing pops up like 20 times every minute. Really? I only had that thing once. I've never oh, even God. seen this. Discord it, hates me and my it friends. Pops up at the top by where it says like stream mode enabled. It's basically, like, hey, have you tried connecting your Facebook? Like that was it. It happened once. And I closed it. All right. Well, I'm never updating Discord. I'm not it's connecting my Facebook. Your knowledge. Mm. Facebook. God. <gasps> All right. So. Crazy lady, crazy lady, 20 minutes ago, other side of town, probably miles. About 30 minutes ago at this point, we've been talking for a little while. Okay, okay. All right. Did she happen to say when she was planning About on? About 32 minutes ago. Right. If I'm being fast. Does she look like she's ready to do this now, or is she like thinking maybe uh, another day? Oh, you should have seen her. She was positively electric. Just uh, energy arcing all over from her body. Looked like she was about to uh, do all sorts of something or other. I'm not quite sure. Oh my god, we have to fight her again. Christ. Anyway, I just thought I'd let you guys know. Uh, Alright, thanks. thanks. What's what's your name again? My name is... uh, Jim. And he just wanders off. <laughs> <laughs> His name's not Jim. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was very mysterious. <laughs> I, 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 I like that question? guy. Yeah. I, I like that guy. Give me good people. 
<laughs> answer Jim question mark Jim uh, all right I guess I, I guess we Mother should fucker I was gonna ID all my items before we fuck or as we fucking shipped off to the next area now we're sitting in town we gotta go back all right uh, I mean how long does it take to ID stuff because you figure it's, you figure she's gotta take out an entire town and kill everybody which I feel like is gonna take a lot of time so I, you well, probably have a few minutes they're not instacast spells anymore they're the under the ritual tag, which means it takes like a half hour, I think. Can everyone roll a okay. perception check? Uh oh. All right. Jeez. Well, oh. wow. Rayborn and Adobo barely recognize where they are. Wait, is this what did I roll out of what? It was that out of twenty? Yes. That shit was fucking broke. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. All right. Share so with the group. Da Davis, Davis <laughs> and Macius start feeling, uh, uh, or start not feeling, sorry, uh, noticing that the waves uh, in the harbor, which normally are lapping up against the, uh, uh, like the walls of the, um, the harbor, uh, the water now seems to be moving outward away, like the waves are moving away from the town. Out into the Tsunami! Sea. I don't feel so oh good. My toes are starting to ache you, a little you see bit. That, isn't that, uh, Macius? Yeah, yeah. Is it, you good. think it's a real tsunami? Uh, I've heard yeah, of these. I mean, it was, <clears throat> I guess, you know, that's maybe a little too early to tell. We should probably that doesn't look go right. inform the Royal Guard, at least so they can start getting people to high ground in case that is the, the option. Well, hold on. Wait a minute, dear. Just give it a moment, okay? Um, what about this? What if we taste the water, and if the water tastes sour, then it's definitely a tsunami, and if it just tastes like fish, then maybe it's not a tsunami. Sure. What? You know, first off, where'd you hear that? That was a what? thing? No, it's flawless reasoning. I mean, I thought that was pretty common knowledge. You taste the water for a tsunami. No, hold yeah. on. Hold on. The way this works, out of character here, the way this works, he just made that shit up. That sounds completely fucking ridiculous. But technically, yeah, he, technically he can roll fucking... for it to actually like be true, yeah, right? It, uh, well, it, it won't be true, but he can, uh, if he wants, he can roll. Hang on. I have to look at the list again. Uh... There's no bullshit stat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess if like you actually, if your character actually believes that, then there's no role. It's just this is what your character believes, and everyone else can decide whether they believe you or not. Oh shit! When they have to roll against my uh, persuasion. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Persu uh, you, you, could, you could actually roll persuasion if you wanted. Yeah. You persuade us. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's All my right. good roll of the night. Everyone else has to roll. Yeah, I hope uh, you yeah. fucking realize we're clearly going to get into some shit tonight. You just wasted your roll <laughs> on rolled... drinking some fucking ocean water. Uh, insight rolls from everyone else. All right. Well, that didn't go well. <laughs> that went oh. worse. <laughs> All right. So you all are... Uh, Macius and Davis less so, but Adobo is 100% on board <laughs> with tasting the water to see. Adobo so much so joins Brayborn. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Macius I'm down. and Davis, I'm you're, down. You're, you're, you're skeptical, kind of but you're willing like, to... Alright, sure, why not? You're willing to hear him out. This That's this perfect. is entirely convincing, Brayborn. I am 100% on board. <laughs> I, am, I, am, I am right there. Where's my straw? <laughs> Hang on, hang on. I guess I'll hold the uh, uh, adobo by the legs as he goes over the edge to <laughs> drink the over the edge of the dock into the water. But me, she's grab me too. <laughs> my immersion right now. My what God. Do you, what do you think? What do you think? It tastes. It tastes you salty. Say, you believed it. But it, tastes, it tastes salty. The, the water tastes salty. It tastes salty. a surprise. It tastes salty. A voice in my <laughs> head surprise. said it, it felt, it's, yeah, it's surprisingly salty. It's actually extra salty. Does that mean anything? 
Hmm. It could the mean gods that are we should, angry. We should probably go to the guards and let it them know. It means the gods are angry and wasted time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you think it's a tsunami, I don't see any reason for me to have to go in there, so I believe you. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to the guards. I'll deal with I'll deal with my diarrhea later. So you guys are you're gonna go just talk I guess to? Guess we at least go fucking inform it? the royal guards of the water happening and the fucking crazy bitch running around town because, I mean, if she's trying to, if she's doing something out there, then. If you kind of cause tsunami, then it was probably get to the high ground. So you're going uh, back up to like the uh... the barracks or whatever the fuck it is, the castle that they had okay, uh, cool. were trying to fucking whatever they were in. Okay. We were up in here before, Mike. Uh, you were, <clears throat> uh, you and Legs were asleep in a dungeon, spooning the whole time. Ooh. Oh. I mean, I don't know. I'm just assuming that's what you're doing in there. <laughs> you wouldn't want to talk about it. All right. I don't want to talk about it. So you head up to the fortress. It still is oh. like this because I I haven't fixed it yet. Um, but you kind of know your way around. And you can see in the doors and everything. And you see uh, Lord Mortimer is the one all the way over the left there. Mm -hmm. uh, let, me, let me put Mike out here. I'm refreshing real quick because I don't see shit. You don't. You won't see yeah, shit. Yeah, you have to have your, your character place because there. there's uh, the actual lighting is here. You oh. should be able to see things now. No. I just refreshed too. Can you scroll over? I yeah. Oh, it's, hang, I, it's, on. I hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I did it. I have to set a thing. Uh. Do you see anything now? No. 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 no you don't. Hang on. <clears throat> Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Now you should see things. Ah, yes, now I see things. Okay, good. Oh, dance place is cool. Yeah, yeah. You should have been here for this session, man. It was great. Yeah. We didn't actually <laughs> kill anybody here. We just broke out and looked around. I got a root. You almost got in a big fight with a whole bunch of people, but then you didn't. You decided to talk instead. I still got a woot. You did get a woot. <laughs> All right, so you're back here in uh, in the barracks. Uh, the door to Shizzle's immediately, uh, or excuse me, Davis's immediately left. Immediate left is the one that you know is. It leads into the the main hall. Uh, I mean, where uh, wouldn't that be all right if we approached from like the top? If we the approach left like, up to here? the shut you up. Be, you walk I think, in, I, think I need some clarification here. Right. <laughs> okay, look, look. The door. What, where's that? Where's that notification thing? What do you gotta do? You gotta this just... fucking door, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there like a fucking button that you can hit that makes a little fucking sonar thing goes off? Probably, but I forgot. What I, Anyways, or like long yeah. click on something. There's a guard here. Is he? Yeah, there you go. Is he greeting us, or is he not actually there? He's he's just he's there. He's just sort of standing at at the ready. He recognizes you from the last time that you broke you out there. of prison here. Where's Mortimer? We need to talk right now. We need to have important news for him. He's uh he's just inside over there. Thank you. Move in. All right. Come on, you fox. So, Mortimer is him. currently in one frame. Hmm. This uh, map is like loading super slow. I'm gonna refresh. Oh, yeah, is it? Is it running poorly? It. Yeah, it runs like shit. Yeah. It's it's good for me. Oh. Yeah, it's fine for me. That's that's weird. It's fine. It's I just the shadows just and turn just... off the shadows. Actually, let me just do that. I think it's the shadows. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just. Let me the just shadows ran fine before. Do, 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 do. They didn't look like this before. Done. Yeah, they did. They looked exactly like that. Not on my screen. Really. Same oh, wow. Yeah. Refreshing there. completely gave me like 60 FPS. Is it better now? Oh, yeah. Fresh again. I just turned off the dynamic lighting, so you guys <clears> should be <throat> able to see everything and be fine. Oh, man. Yeah, what a difference. It's so weird that it was running poorly. I bet it was yeah, in the shadows now. It's probably fine. Yeah, it was running fine for me on two different computers. Brayborn strolls in and does a little ditty on his loot. <laughs> 
Hold on, we we have news. Bad All tidings. Right. I'm just gonna assume that. Uh... Hang, on, hang on, I've got this. I've got this. But yeah, what you really would be here? I was walking right yeah. there, and you jumped across the table. And you get <laughs> <laughs> you go by. So Brayborn starts playing a song. Oh no! Oh, on his lute, which is going to sound like a woot, cello. Thank, on his woot, thank you very much. <laughs> wow, he's good. Yeah. Oh, he said I'm good. We can make Seriously? some money off you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a horse. He's a whole horse playing now? in the that's background. Bullshit. Man, that's crazy. One of the, one of the guards joins oh. in on. <laughs> the <guards laughs> in the <laughs> it's a flash dance. Holy shit! <laughs> I feel like we're being pranked here. Where's the cameras? Yeah. So, uh, Mortimer, we have anyway. dire news. Yes, what is it? Uh, well, first off, <clears throat> a random uh, town villager, uh, townsman came up to us and said they had uh, reported seeing a crazy woman who was described perfectly to be the, the crazy lady Evelyn uh, to be roaming around town saying she was going to blow up the town. Uh, and uh, that was not only about 40, mi 40 minutes ago, probably at this point, maybe on the northwest side of town. Yeah, And then shortly after that, as we were about to leave, we noticed the water around the docks has been receding. It is still receding at this point. Maybe indicating a tsunami at this point? I don't know. We should probably get people to the high ground if that's the case, because, uh, frankly, a lot of this town doesn't know how you can handle it. So you've come here because some crazed villager approached you and said that a crazed woman was going to destroy the town herself. I didn't say a crazed villager came to us, uh, just a villager. A, prefer a somewhat reliable one as well, because we had used him when we first got into town for information about the local uh, establishments, etc. And he didn't really steer us wrong. So we have no reason to believe he's a crazed villager right now, nor that he would steer us wrong again, uh, suddenly. Also, possible tsunami. Nor have we told him about any other crazy ladies at all. We only to talk to you about that. And he magically described her perfectly. So, either <clears throat> there's some very coincidental things going on, or it's pretty uh, pretty good sounding that she might actually be in town, or she was. And all that aside, we should also note that the water is receding. Uh, Possible tsunami. A lot. And it is exceedingly salty. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, hold, hold on. One, one. Let's back up just a moment. Giant wave. You don't really yes, have that much yes, time. Yes, yes. However, you feel the need to report on the taste of the ocean. Yes, sir. He was very salty. He tasted it ourselves. Yes, well, I. One of them did. This, this is not all of us, all right? All right, let's not focus on that stuff and focus on the water. The water, the water. What, what, how would you explain Listen, the water? When, when I contracted you to give us additional information, this uh, making this sort of mind-bogglingly stupid sorts of... I, I, I have no words for this. Just get out of my sight. Get out of my sight. Did you hear about the water? It's... Receding. The water is going away. That usually means a big wave. My father is a famous captain. He told me about this when I was a kid. It's completely possible. The tide is going outward. Quickly. You must get the people yes, to higher yes. ground. All of the water is going away. It's it's escaping. I'm I'm sure that's exactly what you believe to be happening right now. I mean you could just you could just go and look, dude. I mean you just you know. You guys just want to sail out of this fucking place? I know, right? It's fucking the temptation weird. is strong. We, we can surf like, the tsunami over board. top while fucking giving them fingers while we're flying over. I mean, we're supposed to be looking for Macy's and uh, Brobmere anyway, so... Yeah, he turns to one you know. of the, the nearby um, lieutenants with him and says, could you, could you please go and verify these claims about the water surging away from the town and tasting of salt? Could you, could you verify salt, that, salt, please? Don't worry about the salt. It's not important. I think it's very important. I think your guards should also do your lieutenant. Right, so, 
One of the guards just runs off to go check up on this. Thank you, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I'm sure that whatever you believe is about to happen, I'm sure that it will be just fine. Fear not. The royal guard will take care of this. And, like, as though the dungeon master was planning this the entire time, as soon as he says that, you hear an explosion coming from the city. I'm just saying. She said she was going to blow shit up. You hear that? I hate saying told you so, but we told you so. But it feels so damn good. He did. He did. He, he turns he, to the other. Hang on. Before, other... Did anybody hear the Skype call or the fucking Discord call lagging a little bit? Yeah. That was okay. okay. I mean. We can hop into your Discord real quick. Think yeah, maybe we should do that because it's probably just going off of my <clears throat> my thing well, right the now. The connection to info says it's you know decent ping, but yeah, it's been a little. Like, I didn't hear I didn't hear any lag myself, but I'm hearing it on basically everybody. Yeah, let's it's um minor, but it's enough that it's like yeah. Let's hop let's hop over into Chisels. I think we all have right. Uh, I need an invite. You can just join. You're both subs, so you can just click on the sub Ooh. thing. Hmm. Well, they can just go to their Twitch info and just click on join because they're sub to the channel. Ooh. It's a sub integrated Discord. You're a sub integrated Discord. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Over wow. There. Wow. Like, wow. How dare you see? My problem is, I think it's going to be a bit moon to get here. It shouldn't take too long. It'll get kicked right in. Well, Oops. he's... Moon. Him and Discord don't get along very well. <laughs> oh, wow. That's the history here. <laughs> She's I mean, like, it's... well, he's... And that just goes, moon. <laughs> Rude. Oh, my God. If you want to butter corn really easily, you just put the butter on a slice of bread and then you roll the corn in it. <laughs> Did you... That might... Mm. What? So I'm from Michigan, and my family has done that since the dawn of time. Wait, really? I've never heard of that. Yeah, yeah, you just butter a slice of bread, and then you rub the bread on the corn. And, and then, then you, what do you do with hey, the bread? You you eat it. You've got bread and butter at that point. It's delicious. Oh, my God. This is genius. Oh. I just I just took the whole stick and just, like, left it on the stupid little platter, and then just rubbed this, like, just rubbed it all over it, you know? That's that's a good way to make a largely unusable stick of butter. Not that's if you use good, it for corn. That. You ever have corn butter? But wouldn't you rather have some bread <laughs> and butter with your corn? I mean, I don't know if I'm, like, trying to watch my carbs or something. <laughs> uh, Moon needs an invite. Just have some corn butter, dude. He doesn't, but I'm gonna... I guess I'll say I can get one for him real fast. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know what I mean. I was gonna type I mean, out the instructions you know. for him. I guess. <laughs> give, give him, give him the twelve-step process to get in here. It's fucking literally two clicks. Oh, yeah. The give ver him some credit. He's maybe trying. the, maybe oh, the verification. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, connections. Fucking create this invite because it's so much easier. So I got cable the other day. <clears throat> oh. Didn't have it before? Nope, never had cable before as an adult on my own. Now I want bread and butter. What did you use the DSL? Wait, the DSL before or something? No, I just watched Netflix and Hulu and Twitch. Oh, like cable, like TV. Yeah. Oh. All right. So everyone's here now. I think. Yeah, I'm not probably. here. Like, I think we're okay. We good? Yeah. We good? Okay. So you hear an explosion coming from town. The, uh, uh, the you, guards were, all... Uh, Mortimer was saying something, I think. Yeah, Mortimer turns and looks to the the guards that are with him. Uh, <clears throat> waves his hand in the direction of the the four that are 
well, the four that are next to the number four, incidentally, uh, on the map. You four, detain these. No. You two come with me. And he just runs off out the door. Oh, how come? Hang door. on. Detain us. D detain. Brayborn's freaking out a little bit, kind of running back and forth. <laughs> Play us some music, Brayborn. Yogi. Music to inspire these guards to chill their nips. <laughs> wow, brave one, that loot of yours looks surprisingly metal now. Beach, boy, boy. <laughs> anyway, so these guards move up onto you and they're they're very they're uh they're attempting to detain you at the moment. This one comes down over here to keep you from getting out of this door. Damn it. <laughs> I'm just like standing here all quiet. I mean, I'm fine here. I feel we're safe here, guys. <clears throat> I feel like we should just sit here and cooperate. Sure. Do you have food in here? I believe there might be foods in the pockets of these guards over here, Brayborn. Right here, Brayborn. Come for a nice long breakfast after this. Wait, hold on, maybe you got some pockets here. Hold on. Joe, can, I, can I just, you know, let me look in here. One of them uh, speaks up and says, I'm sorry, but I'm I'm going to have to take you to a cell. Nobody walks way more up. I'm not going to the cell, dude. Well, that's your only option. I'm sorry. As a member of the Royal Guard, you must be sent to a cell. We'll just wait in the hall for Mortimer to get back. He can just keep us here. We're not going to leave this room. We haven't done anything yet. We came here literally to report the news, at which you can see is unfolding. We haven't anything on. We're just gonna. We're just gonna. I'm just gonna. We're just gonna sit this right here. It's not right? up for negotiation. You will be moved to the cells. But, but, but what if something happens and you can't get it out of this? Oh, you may come peacefully, or we can do this the hard way. And he unsheaths his sword. What's the elevation wow. of the cell block? Cell blocks over to the right. It's all like flat it's, ground. Dude, it's here. 370 feet above sea level. What? All right, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> all right, we're good. Let's go oh, there. Oh, that's what Mike's getting at now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is up on a hill, like in that the. Uh, it is up a hill, yeah. Yeah, like the uh, the dock. Remember the dock little scene? Like I saw up on the hill, that big castle. That's this place. If your if your question is, are you safe from a tsunami up here? The answer is maybe. Well, a natural tsunami, a mystical <clears throat> tsunami. Who fucking knows? A <laughs> mystical tsunami. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I mean, devils. I mean, there's four of them. There's four of us. I, 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 I still want to. You want to start killing city guards? I mean, I mean nuts. Well, technically not city guards. They're Royal Navy. But also, I mean, come on. We were, we, we're, we're supposed to be working with these guys here. Do you want to put it in a jail? Yeah. Wait. Well, wait. 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 Do we even ask what? why? We... Did we ask why? I'm, did I... We should ask these guys he why. He ran off. They heard an explosion. They ran off to investigate. So they want All us right. to keep us here right now. So we can just stay in this hallway and we'll just not go anywhere. There the you go. guys can go sit in front of the doors. It's this perfect. will be one big cell. It'll be perfect. See you guys. I'm okay with that. All right, let's go. How's that sound, guards? You, so you're, you've agreed to come to the cell then? No, we, we've no, agreed to sit in this room and you're going to guard we're us. We're in the cell. This is the cell now. I'd pretend that dice didn't get rolled. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> I mean, I get plus one to it, but still. I've got a better cool condition. I can't be in a wee tiny cell. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry, but the orders I was given was to detain you, and to detain you means to take you to a cell. Can Brayborn try and roll a charisma roll to try and cutify his way out of this? With, like, big puppy dog eyes? Uh, cutify? <laughs> Yeah, that would be, well, depending on what you're, so, um, that would probably be persuasion, I guess. There's no cutify stat? <laughs> There's no be cute role, <laughs> unfortunately. We, we do a cool, we do, I, I have, I have quite a phobia. I can't go into cell. Just please, why don't you stay in here? <laughs> <laughs> Brayborn is a very persuasive individual. 
Very well. Wait, what you can't what if we move like you to one of the... the what if we move you to one of the bunks instead? It's much larger area. You'll be just fine, and we can still guard you through the single door. I, mean, I, I okay like this area. It's got nice lighting. It's got a nice, you know, acoustic sound. If Braver wants to play on his woot, um, <laughs> this is a great area. The guy sighs and says, oh, "All right, we'll 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 detain them here." And he like orders a couple of the guys to move around and stand in front of the various doors. There you go. See? Why are you at it? Do you have any food in here? I mean, there's a bar over there. It looks like Brayborn. And yo, I would like a turkey wig. I'd like a slice of uh, uh, a wedge of cheese. I'd like a vine of, I'm, I'm, of grapes. I am a god. I am not a bartender. <laughs> Yo, very well. I didn't think it more. Okay, I'm dropping over. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like open bar to me, Brayborn. <laughs> the guard that was back there moves away so that you don't get any further <laughs> misperceptions. <laughs> Can Brayborn shuffle around the bar to see if he finds anything? Uh, Yeah, do a investigate investigation roll. Oof, man. man. Jesus. All right, well, you find you find a, a fair amount of various uh, brews and alcohol um, and uh, a few cured meats that are just in a, a cupboard off to the side. You can share that? <laughs> uh, I mean, or we can sit and think this, about it. This or area, this area over here that I'm in. So this is this was this looks like a mess hall, right, to me. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, is that where where we met them? This isn't like any main like hall or quarters or anything like that, right? It's uh so, um, yeah. The backstory is that these guys moved in and took over the place, um, and so they've been sort of repurposing this mess hall into their like main meeting room slash orders talking place yeah so this like the main guy mortimer he was the one who when we came out of the tower after the fight he was the guy who like detained everybody as i poofed into thin air and then apparently he they're racist against orcs i'm surprised you're actually here adobo because they <laughs> threw uh you and legs into a cell oh uh, while uh macius and uh brayborn were in the cells uh, down here, I actually can't fucking click on this shit and make the fucking thing happen. Well, I mean, maybe, yeah. But, but uh, yeah, so we they were down there, and then we broke out, and then uh, apparently then we, we talked our way out of fighting, so then we figured out what the hell they wanted, which was basically <clears throat> figuring out where Bromery was and the crazy lady and all that shit. So this is, okay, so this is basically a, 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 a makeshift we've been here, we've talked to the, uh, makeshift HQ like a, that we're standing in right now. So I would yeah, like to yeah. search in this corner, because there's a, a series of tables up here, and this kind of looks like you know, an area where whoever is the leader of this uh, area uh, would be. Uh oh, what's that mean? Nothing. Just saying, you guys are ransacking the place while the guards are in the corner. I'm not. I'm just <laughs> looking. Not... I'm just sitting down in the chair. You know, doing the whole like I'm sitting down, kind of like lift the book a little bit to see if I can read something. You know, just pressure play under one of those chairs over there that we never <laughs> discovered. <laughs> the fireplace spins around. There's Nazis on the other side. <laughs> you're going here <laughs> so wait does that mean no i can't you, what are you what are you trying to do i'm trying to, I'm, trying I'm, to search for i'm trying to figure out like what this is this feels weird like really like the, the dude fucking already took off and now these guys want to try to detain us or they are detain us detaining us well, to be fair, I mean, you know, you'd want to see what the fuck the explosion was. When people come to tell you about an impending disaster in town and then it actually happens. Fine. Uh. All right, so I guess we'll just, uh. I'm just, I don't like him rolling. Well, I'm <laughs> I know, I know. <clears throat> I mean, Listen. you know, just, you know, you got to detain to make sure that the stories line up, because who knows, maybe we were distracting them. Maybe we're, you know, he's probably thinks like, 
Yeah. Oh, hey, they're going to tell us about impending fucking shit going down. And, and then, then they're yeah. going to have their own, you know, whatever go off in town. And then all the guards are going to go running off, leaving this place to get captured or, you know, ransacked or whatever, you know? It makes sense. All Somewhat. right, you uh, you start to feel the, the ground vibrating underneath your feet. Oh, for like, fuck's sake. <laughs> not not like a constant vibration, but like a, a, a loud, like, thump every once in a while. Uh, uh, any of you guards feel that? They're just standing, like, uh, a couple of them look like they're a little bit worried. They're freaking out a little bit, but they're just standing okay, there. Okay, yep, that's a thanks. Guys. So, this is like Jurassic uh -huh. Park right now, guys. So, um... <laughs> Look out a window real fast. Make yeah. sure there's no giant fucking Take a peek real quick out this window. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. you peek out. Uh, you fucking monster are coming at us. It's the fucking yeah. mega cultist. No, oh, sorry. No, um, Adobo, you look out the window and you see the entire town is now on fire. Oh. How is everything doing out there, sir? It's Adobo, what, what? why are you making that face? There's a lot of there's a lot of fire. Uh, the what are you talking about? The how the town oh. is on fire. The oh. whole town, like the, the oh god, oh god. Um, Let me see. That, the windows, windows, windows over here. How? Can you guys share oh. a window, or maybe use the other one? <laughs> That's on the safe side. I think oh I'm god. Okay, over here. Uh, yeah. Guards. Uh, yeah, let's get the guards. guards. Hey, what? Take a look. We you definitely should have sailed when we had the chance. Yeah, we should have got the hell out of here. The you, one that you, was, look out the window. The one that was talking to you earlier goes and looks out the window. And he just goes, Fuck. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Royal Guard, rally. And they all, they all rally around him because apparently that's a thing that they do. Like, I don't know, fucking reggae singers or something. <laughs> Yeah, you get it. You get the reference. Never mind what they're, what they're talking about. <laughs> okay, okay, what's going on? They they sort of mutter amongst themselves for a second, and then all all five of them. <laughs> and Brayborn gets all their info as he listens in. Yeah, sort of mutter amongst themselves for a second, talking about how they the town is under siege or something, and then they all they all run off. Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Should we be concerned? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Look out the window. They all, I'm, make, I'm making sure they all go down the hill. Yeah, they all go running down the hill. I would all right, boys, time to leave this but... place. <laughs> this we should probably actually do something about the town, though. I mean, I mean, actually, if there's a tsunami coming, the town problem prob will take care of itself. <laughs> <laughs> what about okay, your profit? Again, wings. didn't he disappear? He yeah, what's his face? Legs Jim. is on a boat. Jim said he already left. Jim, oh god, yeah, legs is on the boat actually. We gotta save wings. He's yeah. on he a wants, boat. He wants, I'm, ju I'm just on fire a little bit over here, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't that have like an echo on it? Oh, I'm just on fire here, boss. <laughs> I just, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just on fire a little bit, boss. Don't worry, don't worry about me, boss. Jesus. That's uh, not actually. Uh, so I, we can't really put out a town's worth of fires. No, maybe what we should run to the boat now and get the hell out of here. I mean, who knows if but, the water hasn't they... receded enough that the boat's fucking, you know, stranded now, man. Can everyone do a perception check real quick? <laughs> yeah. Fuck these perception checks, man. I always roll super low, and you're gonna be like, oh. a double yep. does a double doesn't understand fire. Or some shit like that. <laughs> I always roll stupidly low. Well, let's find out. I'm just stuck oh. out the, staring out the window and all. I just, I, I'm not looking around at all. I'm just looking at the window. Uh, just, so, like, Brayborn and Adobo, you start to hear a muffled voice coming from Davis's backpack. Me? Would you say that was? I didn't say anything. I said, "Oh fuck!" About a minute earlier, as I look out this window. Your backpack is your backpack is ringing. Oh god damn it! Hang on. Okay, you, you guys might want to look away for a second. This is, this is gonna, it's gonna get pretty bright here for a second. What, what the? Hang on. All right, I, I opened my satchel and I grabbed the crystal, which 
has the blinding light effect still, I'm guessing, still going on. It's so just, I take it's, it out and... It's glowing pretty dramatically, but it's not, like, blinding. Okay, yeah, because it's probably daylight. We're this would have been the perfect time yeah, to yeah, disable yeah. dynamic lighting. <laughs> <laughs> Everything gets really dark. Your frame rate goes to shit. <laughs> and you need to refresh the browser again. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, His name was Zalabrak, right? Uh, yeah, Zalabrak, Zalabrak. yeah. Uh, all right, I hold it up like a phone. Uh, hello, young, young Zalabrak? One. Young one. Yeah, what, what, what's going on? Uh, some shit's going down here. I'm assuming you know a little bit about it? What? What? No, I, I just felt that I should warn you that um, I was I was incorrect in my previous assertions that uh, Evelyn's powers would wane. Uh, it appears that they are becoming stronger. Great. Ah, uh, you got something we can do about that? It all will be completely fine. I have it under control. As long as she does not go to half water. God damn it. Uh, All right, so, so let's... I know I don't have my, my, my uh, location enabled on this uh, phone here. <laughs> I'm going to find friends turned But down. you're calling us in half water. She's already here. What? What? Why, why yeah. are you there? Young one, why are you there? Because we came back to find Bromer, and it was the only island that we knew of in a civilization, so we could try and track her down. She, we just found is, out she was in town a little bit ago and that she was going to try and blow up the town so we told the local royal guard yeah, and then yeah, they detained yeah, us and now the yeah, town's on fire yeah, and there's also yeah, a potential tsunami yeah, coming I, I, now you're caught up she, she is searching for the very crystal through which we are communicating oh god damn it oh you must Fuck. leave immediately all right. Um, any, Maybe you any, should put that on vibrate mode. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just kind of answers itself. It must have like butt dialed it or something. I don't know. Anything else, Alabrek? Because uh, we should probably be getting going. Might lose signal here. Hang on, young one. I'm I'm going under a, 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 a tunnel. All right, let's go, guys. We gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Don't ask questions. We just gotta go. I guess we'll just let you handle that. <laughs> so we're leaving. Long story. Okay. Wait, Macy's come back. Hold on. Help me take some of these. No, I'm not help. No, we gotta go, man. Just, just wait, wait, quick. We're not leaving. No, we, we, we gotta go. Just grab us once you can. Let's fucking go, Brayborn. We got a lot of gold. We can stop anywhere. Brayborn grabs a hand before he leaves. <laughs> I would say right. you grab a couple. Anyways, all right. So I guess we book it as fast as we can to get down towards our boat. Yep. Okay. So uh, you start running. Uh, you're getting back to town. Every everything is on fire. Like the whole place is. Imagine this, but everything is. Hang on. on fire. Don't worry. I got I got this fixed for my stream. Wait. Hang on. We, we, I got this. I got this over here. Do you though? I trust him. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you fire. know what? That's actually that was never lets me down. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Actually. Yeah. So everything's on fire, um, but you managed to get down to your boat. Um, Legs is literally just running circles on the deck, freaking out. He has no idea what to do about this. So the boat Plus. Is, hasn't Plus. like the water hasn't receded that much yet. Boss, boss, there's there's, there's a lot of uh, the, like loud sounds and stuff, boss. And I think I think everything's burning, boss. And I don't know what to do, boss. I'm really worried, boss. Boss, get us untied from the dock legs. Okay, okay. And he like runs over and starts untying stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna get the fuck out. I'm gonna here. guess that he's untying us. That we it's actually the, there's still enough water that we can actually get the fuck out. Yeah, yeah we are the, still floating. Yeah, you are. Okay, still floating. then we all hop the fuck on and get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Okay, guys, hold on, hold on. I need to see something. Oh, okay. Legs, no one goes to the water no one got on the... starts to drink from it. <laughs> oh, okay, the town is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brayborn. I was unaware. <laughs> Legs, no one got on the ship, right? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, well, uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Adobo got on the ship. 
and uh, Mr. Macius got on the ship. Besides us, the four oh. that left. There's no uh, one else on board, right? No, I don't think so, boys. You don't think so? Have you been watching the entire time? or have, I mean... I, I took a nap for a little while, boys. I, I, sorry, I, I've been up for like four days, boss. I, I had to sleep. You didn't sleep while we were at the tournament? Uh, what tournament, boss? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Get on board, guys. We'll let the sweep the ship real fast. Make <laughs> yeah. sure she's not here as we get the fuck out of here. Yeah. All right. So you uh, you push yourselves away from the the docks. Uh, and you start to start to head out to sea. And hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. There we go. You push away. How far it looks like it needs some modifications. Oh, yeah, you're right. It probably does. Uh... There. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you uh, as you're you're sort of starting to sail away. You you drop the sails. You start to catch the wind. Um, fortunately, it's blowing uh, southwest, so it starts taking you away from half water in a hurry. Uh, you see a massive explosion that basically destroys the, what's left of half water. Oh, God. Um, may I see that? The, oh, shit. the giant explosion occupying the entire rear 180 of the ship. I don't know. If yeah, I, I don't know. Mm. I don't know if I turned off the oven back at that port. <laughs> well, fuck. Uh, do we need to do a sweep? I mean, we're already on the ship. We didn't sweep the sure ship. Which isn't here. Where are we going? Well, ideally, there was an island or something like that we were told about that we had to go past something like that to find where Bromir was last reported. We have that information, even if we can't remember our character, our characters can surely remember it. Um, but we should probably should make sure that What's-Her-Face is Evelyn is on the ship. Yep. All right. I would assume we would probably know by now, but yeah. You never know. Oh look, we're still below water. The boat's taking on water. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why that middle section shows us being below water. That's a little bit it's, weird. It's because we were we were rocking the ship side to side. That's right. <laughs> we took on water. That's sure. right. Remember, guys, don't walk, don't walk. But I just found a hat randomly. I don't know where this came from. <laughs> and it's got his old tokens. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> this is from fucking day one. Yeah. <laughs> And they have a beard now. You've been doing well. <laughs> uh, Macy's, are we gonna die? I don't think so. I think we're all right. It's just uh, keep going. We've never been out on the water. I mean, is this is this normal. No. Oh. Yes, you. We've been on the water. What are you talking about? We're not in the tsunami. No, we're all right. Uh, I, I mean, I neither am I. I, I do don't see a giant wave. These stairs aren't working. Do I? Are you trying to go downstairs do, do, and look downstairs? Yeah. All right, one second. Are we actually flooded right now? No. No. No, 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 no. It's just for some reason it shows that like this particular picture that I found shows that section is. I don't know why it shows it like that. I have to find the right thing. <clears throat> I don't like that he's finding something on the boat. No. I don't like that I can hear footsteps. In this yeah, I don't, song. I don't know why you can hear that either. 
that makes me feel like <laughs> there's somebody downstairs. <laughs> It's like the whole bottom half disappeared, like just as I was going over. I was like, I'm gonna go downstairs. It's like I'm like standing here and then just disappears. It's like it doesn't work. Oh shit. <laughs> hey Braver. What was the yeah. You wanna race around the ship? You won't win. Oh, come on. You want to try? Come on. Let's do this. You're fine. All right, line up. Oh, God, I'm inside you. We're going, <laughs> We're going uh, counterclockwise. All right. All right. You might have to explain that. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you, you're going downstairs to check? Oh, oh, uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. All right. I'll get you next time. All right. So you head down the stairs. Oh, and look who it is. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I thought I heard somebody walking around down here. Hey, dicks. Legs. God damn it. Dicks. No, not legs. I can already. I can. I can. I can tell already immediately once you said something. I'm gonna go back upstairs, take a peek real quick. Hey, so uh, you guys should come downstairs. Guys. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the hesitation. Come on. Ah, fuck. Order we fashion. Order <clears throat> we fashion. No wedding. Oh, hey, Wiggs. Hey, hey, boss. I, I accidentally got put on the wrong <laughs> the wrong layer, boss. No. <laughs> Awkward. Sounds like the worst. There we go, boss. I, I'm, I'm in a spot where I can actually be controlled now, boss. <laughs> <laughs> wow, legs, that's so meta. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried for a second that I may have uh, accidentally been part of the background, boss. <laughs> me, me, I know, Earth Demetrius, are you going to go down? Yeah, We're waiting for you. I know, what? what's happening here? All right, all right, jeez. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah. yeah, Evelyn. Shouldn't have fucking said anything. I, I mean, I didn't. I, didn't I haven't asked yet. Excuse me. Uh, <clears throat> what's happening, boys? Are you Evelyn? She like looks up at you. Uh, her eyes are like glowing purely purple. No, well, okay. Well, I mean, wait, wait, excuse me. I'm well, technically, I mean, if anything, it sounds like it's a Macy's Alley. I mean, look, he's got the glowing green eyes. I mean, you know, I'm just saying. I should leave these two down here, you know, and uh, head up forward. I'm just saying, guys. Leave me out. Quite all right. No thanks. Nope. No. Saying your dude's got the green eyes. I Why don't you go talk to her? You're the leader. I'm the leader. <laughs> That's what you said the other day. That's some horseshit. These guys weren't around. I heard you. Oh, bullshit! Don't be making. Braver, no. Bra We've bra been Braver. In Braver's for two having months. the. Braver's <laughs> seemingly the most successful one. Uh, uh, today. Uh, so I think Braeburn should approach. Me? Uh, yes. Yes. Just talk to her. Just talk to her. Hold on. There's a dog very angry in my pocket. I think someone else should. Is that lunch tomorrow? <laughs> All right. I'll talk. I'll, I'll talk to her. I'll talk to her. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, yes. Do you have your ticket by chance? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dana Jones. She just stares at you. I. Are you, you're, you're, Eve, she's, I'm going to assume this is Evelyn, right? It is, she has, she's not going, she's just staring. You recognize uh, her as Evelyn. Yeah. Okay. Um, can we, can we help you with something? You're in a, you're in the belly of our ship and, uh, you don't have a ticket. 
and if you don't uh, I pay the toll or, or, or leave, then uh, my buddy Davis here is going to remove you from the uh, premises. She looks at you and like just stares for a second and then goes, Unlikely. Oh God! Well, Davis, uh, you you heard you heard it. Uh, gonna... Yep, you you uh, you heard him, legs. Uh, I don't know what you want me to do, boss. She, Let's she, her, uh upstairs. She she seems like she she doesn't want to go anywhere, boss. Uh, I don't know what you want me to do about that, boss. Well, the stowaways tend to tend to you know not have the the friendliest disposition, so. Uh, is she a sto are, are you a stowaway lady? Are you, are you not, you're not supposed to be here. She just stares at him. Legs, get her off the ship. I, I can't I can't get her off the ship, boss. We're, uh, we're just, just out in the ocean. Uh, you, want, you want me to, to, to throw her in the ocean, boss? Yes. Uh, it's not very yep. nice. Yep. I, just get her off the ship, please. Right, guys? It's not very nice, boss. That's an order, Legs. You're here to serve us. Uh, okay, boss. Uh, excuse me, Miss uh, Miss Lady. Uh, uh, can, you, can you please go in the ocean, please, boss? <laughs> can you please go? She, she's not doing anything, boss. Well, this is just awkward. Um, oh, oh, uh, hey, Davis. Oh, so about that thing. No, stay on the, uh, uh. I mean, I, I feel like, uh, let's be honest. If you just, oh, if you just ham, throw that, ham that got? No, if you just throw that thing no, over, nah. over the edge, she'll go nah. and then we could, then she'll be out of our hair nah. and we could just sail off. To... I'm still in a contract. It's gonna be a whole long dealio. I'm gonna need you to step away from me, lady. All right, I'm gonna do that well. Um, yeah. If you could not, that'd be great. If you want to quit following me, that'd be perfect. <laughs> yeah, that'd be okay. Okay. Goes. Hello. Brayborn, she's got food. Go. What, you and me, what's going on? She's got food. Get her. Oh, wait, wait. That's <laughs> it. Wait, you know, I, I, you, what kind of food do you have? I need to know right now. It's meat. All right, wait. I'm going to need you to hand over the meat and go ahead and just take a step away. And just throw the meat across the table. Across the floor. Flash. I beg your pardon? Flash. She's, she's saying flesh. Yeah. Turkey. That, that. <laughs> <laughs> she's not taking a fucking order. <laughs> flesh. No, I'd like the entire turkey. Thank you. Bones. Yeah, he'll do that. That's fine. He'll do that. Sure. I mean, I, I've eaten bones before. Bodies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, sure. Right, Flash. right. This is a loop. Do Why did we check the ship before we sailed? I fucking told you guys. What, what are we gonna do? Well, I don't know. I, at least we would have had some people at the fucking docks, like the Royal fucking Navy. If we can take her, we've taken her before. She's crazy. Flash. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm just going to, out of character, yeah, I don't really want to fight on a boat that we're sailing on in the middle of the Flash. ocean. With We much. might not have a choice. Is she multiplying? There's three of them. <laughs> we might want to do something quick. Let's retreat Flash. upstairs. Flash. We better, no, let's go retreat upstairs. You just okay. want to get out here. Funnel do, do, them through do, the stairwell. Do. Funnel them through the stairwell. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Wig, get up here. I'm, oh. I'm coming, boss. Oh, the screen goes black. I, I, had to, I, had to, I had to hide part of the map for a second, boss. <laughs> Legs, you betrayed us. <laughs> so, sorry, boss. I, I just needed to make sure that, uh, you know, some other stuff could happen for a second, boss. Well, this isn't good. 
Thank you, Captain Obvious. Uh, yeah, well, I am the captain. <laughs> and never had some <laughs> <most> flying. <laughs> That's where it goes. Now we have a sorceress multiplying in the bellows of my ship. Fuck. Right, hell. Uh, okay. Unnecessary. Unnecessary mm. indeed. Which part? I don't want any trouble. Flesh. What do you want? I think she wants flesh. <laughs> <laughs> She's being real subtle about that. I'm glad you picked up on it. She's really not happy about those 12 tacos from Taco Bell not arriving. <laughs> Damn, I want tacos. Flash. Just stay right there. If you take a step closer, we're going to have to attack. All right? We don't want to fight on this ship. Flash. No, let's just fucking fight on the ship. Just don't set Fuck. the bitch on fire. On the, deck, the deck's a lot Flash. better than all down below. Okay, yeah. See? There you go. Yep. All right. Okay. Let's All do right. this. On three, we charge and get in position. And three. This is where we're <laughs> Took like one step. <laughs> Took one step back. <laughs> guys, you got to come on. Run legs, through. Before legs, she fucking come on. Closes, you guys right. in. I, I, I wasn't part of this plan, boss. I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm supposed <laughs> to be doing. Get, get out of the door. Before he locks us down for combat. Get in position, you fucks. <laughs> did, you, did you jump off the boat? Now we went downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought that's what you wanted, boys. Get in position upstairs, man. Okay, I'm on the stairs, boys. Upstairs. Uh, oh. Uh, okay, boys, I'll go over here. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have an idea. Mm. She should probably not be in there. Well, I mean, you don't know where she's going to turn. I'm just saying you're not going to have a whole lot of room in there to operate when there's a fucking wall right here, through here. The oh, that's a wall? Fucking, uh, yeah, the yeah. entryway is right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Excuse me, Evelyn. Sorry. She's coming through. <laughs> Guys, wait. I have an idea. The reason I came and got the high ground up here. She wants flesh. She wants body. And she wants your bones. Braveheart pulls out the ham that he stole from the fortress, <laughs> pulls it up in the air, and a little Zelda noise goes off. I think it's say throw legs. Wait, 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 uh -oh. oh god. Flesh! Yeah, it's you can hear me! Braveheart might take a bite of it and then hold it out. Alright, you, you, uh, you hold it out and it starts to just sort of, like, pull against you. Like someone is pulling on it, but you can't see anything that's causing that. What? What? what, what yeah. Eventually, it just slips out of your hand and floats in the air. Oh. And then, uh, slowly, can. slowly, all of the meat just sort of, uh, it's like it evaporates away from it. And then the bone is just there and the bone falls to the deck. Oh. Flesh. Bone. Get your I had. So can we just can we swing on her yet? I was about to say you should probably roll for initiative. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go. They haven't attacked yet, so like if you guys want to, they're not attacking at the moment. They're really interested in Brayborn. Um, and he's already getting Brayborn. You got anything else? You got anything else in your Maybe backpack? Keep start start rifling through your shit, man. Just like throw the shit over the edge to <laughs> go for it. Um, are we still sailing towards our objective, the place where we were supposed to find Bromir? Should I autopilot? At, at the moment, you're just sort of adrift. I mean, I have this. And he pulls out the loot. Maybe starts to strum it a little bit. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I got this. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, no. 
so close to kicking him from the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it wouldn't have stopped. <laughs> it was through roll I 20. Know. I know. But I got the message crossed. We do, we do, do, do. <laughs> you do, do, do. Rayburn's really freaking out. <laughs> we need to help here, guys. Keep rifling through your backpack. Maybe she wants some other meat. They sort of move to the center of the ship and start like staring at each other and like channeling some sort of spell. Well, yeah, we should probably not let that happen. <clears throat> Just gonna throw it out there, guys. I'm gonna apply Hunter's Mark to the top left one. Okay. I'm cool. Still haven't attacked. We don't need to do this. Okay. <clears throat> Before nice. his combat kicks off, I'm gonna reach into my fucking backpack and call up Zalbrak and fucking. Like subtly, real quick, like with my back turned so they can't see the light or anything like that. So they have no idea what the fuck's going on. They're busy channeling shit. For fuck's sake. Just like tucked into a corner making a secret phone call. Yeah. Uh, okay. Zalabrak, you there, buddy? Yes, young one. Alright. So, uh, Evelyn may or not have found us and we're on our boat and she snuck on board and we're in the middle of the water. Tiny, help us. Dumb as four of them. That's There's impossible. Four of her. I'm looking at four of this bitch right now. It's definitely not impossible. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not impossible. Impossible. It <laughs> that is not possible, young one. She is still in half water. Does this shit have fucking FaceTime? Yeah, well, there's four of them right here. Do you want me to turn the camera so you can see? Because this bitch is right here. They must be illusions. She is attempting to locate you. So should we fucking kill these illusions or what? I don't really can want to you... fucking blow up Well, the that ship. would be the sensible thing. Okay, thanks. Bye. Click. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, you get, because they haven't attacked yet, you get a full round before initiative. So oh, well, that's good. Each right, of you fine. can take an action before they do anything. Okay. So, uh, is Macy's only doing the Hunter's Mark? Uh, if I can shoot, I'll do that too. Yeah. yeah. All right, I guess I'll go for the the top left one. Um, I just slowly look to the other guys and, and, and nod as I raise my bow. Yeah, they're all just staring, so you guys will each get a turn before. Damn! Alright, so that is a hit. Alright, and what is what does the hunter hunter's mark do? Uh I'll have to find that somewhere. Uh let me see real fast here. Uh choose a creature within range. Uh until the spell ends, you deal an extra one D six damage to the target whenever you hit it with a weapon attack. Okay, so roll an extra 1d6. And you have any advantage on wisdom, perception, or wisdom survival checks. Uh, target drops to zero. The first spell, you can use a bonus action to mark something else. All right, so that one dissipates. It kind of just poofs into like a little bit of, like a puff of purple smoke. Okay. Uh, I uh... Really? And you can use that free action to reapply your hunter's mark to something else if you want. Like uh, Davis. Will it stay Fuck on yourself? her? It'll oh, be on one her, yeah. You can just basically, because uh, the you can pl apply the spell to one of the new ones. Now. Yeah, I'll do it to the uh, top right. Okay. Uh, who else wants to do something before? Uh, uh, I, I do. would. I'm going to let everybody else go first. Yeah, I would like to. Can I, please, can I, please, can I run do. up and sweeping attack? Yeah. Yep. Please, please do. Cool. Got the roll for, uh, let's see how this one will get here. Um, <clears throat> I can't remember exactly how to set this one up, so I'll just read it out for you, Lore, unless you're familiar with it. I am not. So it uses one of my superiority die, and it says when you hit a creature with a melee weapon attack, uh, melee weapon attack, choose another creature within five feet of the original target and within your reach. If the original attack roll would hit the second creature, it takes damage equal to the number of uh, your roll on the superiority die. The damage is the same type dealt by the original attack. 
So it's basically you roll, you spend a superiority die, you roll to attack, and then if it hits the main guy, then it also, or and would hit the second guy, then it hits both of them? Yeah, it's, not, it's just a cleave, basically, but no diminishing on the second one. Cool. I'm just uh, trying to look it up. I'm not finding it, though. That was the definition I pulled right out of the book. Yeah, I was tr just trying to read it again because I didn't fully comprehend everything you said. Oh, here, let me uh, I'll copy pot, paste it into uh, our chat. D&D chat. Boop. Okay. Yeah, it says if the original attack roll hits, I would hit the second creature. Yeah. Oh, you put it in. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think. Yes. Okay, so it's just you get to hit two targets. So okay. go for it. Damn. Damn. Too bad these right, are well, fucking holograms. <laughs> So uh, go ahead and roll the damage. Oops. Uh... Just click where it says flail in the chat. <laughs> oh, thank God for that. <laughs> All right. So you do four damage to each of them. All right. I'm assuming you're hitting the... Yeah, you would. there's only two that you would be able to yeah, hit. Yeah, just the two right there, yeah. Yeah. Okay. They don't all disappear? They're still there? No, they're still there. Son of a bitch. Uh, right. Right, like your, your flail sort of passes through them and makes like a whole bunch of smoke come out, but they sort of recover and they're still there. Okay. Then I will not use second wind. What did you hit? What did you hit him with? He hit him with a longbow. Okay. And one disappeared. How much damage did you do? Seven. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry. Damage. You're right, you're right. 12 and 4, 12. so you hit 16 total. Hey, shit. Wow. Well, Macy has uh, dissipated the one that he hit. Yeah. So 16 kills it at the very, you know. Yeah, Macy. Yeah, okay. So it could be less. So whose turn is it? Uh, um, Rayborn did scorching ray. Yeah, Rayborn starts to move his hands back and forth, and then and then like a a little flame start uh, appears from his hands, and then he starts shooting scorching rays of fire at at the blue and the yellow. Yeah, that's why I was letting mm -hmm. everyone go first, so I can see if I need to do eldritch ray or scorching ray. But I also wasn't wanting to do scorching ray because we're on a wooden boat. <laughs> <laughs> Brayborn gives no fucks. <laughs> True. He already scorched the deck when we initially got this thing, so. <laughs> Brayborn has no chill. <laughs> All right. Um. So you need to make uh, two ranged spell attacks. Oh, wait. Are you. So you make three rays. Uh, are you just hitting those two? Oh, I make. Okay, no. I'll, I'll try and hit all three of them then. Okay. So you need three ranged spell attacks, which you should be able to do. Um, yeah, I got it right here. Yeah. Ho! Oh, damn. Well, that one's a hit. You get a, you get a critical on. Well, it, I guess this this spell doesn't really crit, but that's like a an automatic hit no matter what on one of them. Uh, that's a hit on the second one. And I believe that's a hit on the third one. Uh, yes, that's a hit on the third one. So now what do I do? Do I actually click the uh, the spells? Um, For damage? Hang on, let me see what your thing is actually set up as. Uh, yes, actually. 
the way it's it's set up to be this thing. Okay, so the first one. Wait. Why did that roll four? Because that's extra confusing. dice from the crit. Oh, yeah, that's that's wrong. Just roll just roll two d six on all of them, just manually, because it's it's being weird. Because this, this isn't technically how you're supposed to set this up. It's just what we have sort of hacked together. All right. Uh, which was the, which are you calling the first one? The first one is the blue one. All right. So that one dissipates. Uh, it's for the yellow one. That one dissipates. That's for the green one. And that one also dissipates. Oh, triple kill. Oh, yeah. As they, uh, the winds of them sort of, or the, the smoke that they have sort of floats away, you just quietly hear, like, in the wind. <sighs> All right, uh, fucking spread out, search the place, make sure she's not actually on board anymore. Okay, not in the cabin, I guess. I'm going downstairs, but I'm not going to no one. Take legs with you. Hey, well, what's that, boss? <laughs> escort, escort the bus. Go downstairs first. So, okay, okay, boss. Uh, I'm gonna go down these stairs. G g get down here, dig. Like screams, disappears into the void. <laughs> so he goes downstairs. How'd you look down here? Oh, wait. Fine. No, uh, there's no legs. Um. Digs? Digs? Fine, if he fucking just kept an eye on the goddamn boat like we told him to. Uh, guys, Wiggs went down here and he's not here anymore. Well, you check behind the stairs? Oh, yo, I have it. <laughs> Jigs? There's, there's no legs there either. Ooh, ooh. Uh. Ah. Uh. I don't know what to do. I don't mean to alarm you, but Wiggs is now behind the stairs and he's not downstairs. Did he go overboard? He went downstairs. Go downstairs, there's no holes down there. Let me go find the stairs again. <laughs> oh, perception. Or investigation. Yeah, that works too. Okay. Would it be perception higher. or investigation? Whichever's higher. <laughs> and a perception just like seeing shit as you're down there. Investigation. Yeah, it, it's looking. investigation if you're specifically looking for something. I'm looking for deeds. Oh all shit! Places. He finds a temporal Whoa, reference. Man, <laughs> man. Damn. Today, jeez. Right. Wasting all these rolls before an actual fight. <laughs> So Brayborn, who, despite all odds, is better at this than everyone else in the party. Because we haven't tried yet, we're upstairs. Fuck yourself. You're not going to roll a natural 20. I know, but I'm also not going to try because <laughs> Brayborn figured it out, which means you don't know that. <laughs> uh, so Brayborn looks around the, the bottom uh, floor of the boat, and uh, there is, in fact, no legs. Uh... However, you do notice that there is a uh, a strange purple shimmer coming from a section. Uh, hang on, I'll draw it on the map. Where is Moon actually? Is he like under Mike's character? Like over there. <laughs> Holy uh, shit! Keep, keeping him warm. Okay, yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Oh, Brayborn might kind of start reaching forward with his hand towards the portal. Oh, God. Okay. How's that? Oh, oh, you probably don't want to touch that. It's purple. Did you taste it? Uh, okay. Oh, God. You just weren't upstairs anymore, so I had to 
Uh-huh. Wait, maybe I should okay. taste it. Does anyone know what that is? Yeah, well... Does, so that, looks look like, like, does that look like the portal that I got fucking... That I walked through to get to the fort? Yes, it looks very similar. Okay. I guess I fucking pull out my fucking Discord phone. My Skype phone. <laughs> fucking... Uh, Zella Brack, you there, buddy? Boop, 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 boop. Oh, motherfucker. Boop. He's not answering now. All right. So, you get, do you guys know what happened when I disappeared at the fucking obelisk? Yes. Nope. You told us the whole story. I don't remember. I got pulled into totally a dimension listening. by a fucking demon who had me recharge the crystal that Evelyn drained, and it. He said she would be. You know, losing her power eventually, anyways, and we recharge it like I think well beyond like what she actually stole, anyways. But he hasn't really asked for it back yet. Uh, and I walked through something that looks just like that to get out of the demon realm when he wasn't answering again, and that put me back at the fort where I found these two guys in the jail. So I'm guessing that's gonna take us back to his place. Okay, I'm gonna go down the stairs, boss. What? what? No. How, how did you get down here, boss? How did you get down here? You just told we me to come down here. We sent you down here like here, a few minutes ago. Uh, uh, oh, fuck. I was joking around and I said temporal rift. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. So. I don't, I don't think Evelyn's down here, boss. I, I think she's gone now. Yeah. That, thank you, Legs. Um, what was this? What would you do over here, boss? What? I got real wide for a second, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I gotta watch the replay. I didn't miss catch that fully. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this thing? I don't understand. I have a brain fart. <laughs> he just watched him. Sorry, I ate some stretch. <laughs> Uh, I might I might have grabbed the wrong handle to move him around, boss. It's 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 purple, boss. I know it's purple. I tasted it. Uh, <laughs> does it taste purple? No, it tastes <clears throat> like toothpaste. So sometimes toothpaste is purple, boss. Oh yeah, yeah. So, uh... When is toothpaste purple? So I don't. So that's toothpaste. Is anybody else gonna fucking mention how basically legs just did a disappearing act and doesn't remember anything? Uh, wait, wait, don't I remember, boss? There's a lot of don't things worry about I it, don't legs. remember. Okay, I'm boss. Very confused. Yeah. Uh, legs, you want to fuck it? Step to the portal real fast. Just go, go walk, go, go hug the blue, go hug the purple. Just go hug it. Okay. You sure that's safe, boss? Yeah. Yeah. You've already done it once. Uh, okay. He like steps into the portal. What? <laughs> and what kind of magic uh, is this? Yeah, uh, don't don't I, This is different shit. Don't touch that. I'm guessing it's some kind of time portal because he's noticed how he showed up three minutes later. Ish. Uh, that's not good. I'm gonna. You don't don't, don't touch that. Uh, I'm gonna call up Zell again. No, you there? <clears throat> tap 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 yeah. on the fucking. Yeah, yes, yes, young one. What? What is it? It's late. What the hell? I you guess, don't uh... understand the passage of time. Why is there a portal in our ship? And why also does it seem to be sending uh, our companion back in time? Like I'm going to go down the stairs now, boss. Yeah. <laughs> See? No, Run, no. Bitch. I'm going in. I want to try. Go, do it. Do it, jump in. Oh, Jesus, no. I think it's just teleporting him to the, to the legs. Did you go through this portal? Uh, I... 
I uh, I I think so. I don't I don't know what's <laughs> like this. How do you not know if you went through the fucking portal? Yeah, that's why I said not go through it because now we don't know what Brayborn's gonna come back. Yig, are you down here? I'm right here, boss. You, you just told me to come down here, and then and, yeah, and you walked into that thing, and then and then now uh, you're over there. Yeah, yeah. Wait, oh, how do you how don't you touch everybody down here? Don't touch that. Don't touch it. You should probably get away from it. I'm so confused. Delabrak, you still there? What the fuck is this shit going on? It's yeah. purple. I'm assuming you at least know something about it, if not have Gen something to do with this. Hold, hold the, hold the crystal with our one. Well, he's really breaking up. Some terrible signal down here. You want to say that again? One more time. Hold the crystal to the portal. Okay, I got it. I, I guess I walk over and, and fucking do that. <clears throat> mm, yes, yes. Yes, that is definitely purple. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. I'm says, not what? a captain. <laughs> hey, how about it? <laughs> what, what are we supposed to do? Because this clearly shouldn't be here. I recommend closing it. And that would be how exactly? Not all of us are familiar with portals as much as you. I just hold hold the crystal aloft for a moment. I shall take care of it myself. That'd be great. Thanks. All right, you hold the crystal up and uh after a second or two, it sort of shimmers quite a bit, and then the, the portal disappears. Okay. Uh, Braver, uh, you walked through the portal, right? If you say so. <laughs> Would Brayborn remember anything? Like, what does he remember from going in there? So, you remember, you remember saying that you were going to just walk into the portal, and then you were on the stairs. You walked um, through it. You basically you walked through it onto the stairs. So I jumped in there, but that was on the stairs afterwards. I'm not truly sure what's going on. I feel weird. I feel like I don't know. Show us on the crystal where he touched you. Did you go over here? So okay, so <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Oh, Wait, what? <laughs> I just felt like replacing the the token. Was the oh, it uh, took me a second. To this is the uh, the on. timeline shenanigans here. There's now two Bravers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm you from the future. I don't have time to explain. <laughs> okay, so should, it's it's. You should still be able to move it around and stuff. It is uh, clearly. A rift or portal of sorts. Um, yeah, normally it's actually just acts as a gateway. Normally they don't actually throw you back through time a little bit. Well, I don't know if that necessarily happened, because he does remember I mean, being down here that, and but... going through it, and then he peers up there. Yeah, so, but legs doesn't remember a couple. Well, times. Like, legs doesn't fucking remember anything. Legs, what's our names? Uh. <laughs> Uh, wait, you're, uh, say boss, boss. <laughs> and then, See? uh, boss, you stuff. thank you, and point proven, Mr. Captain Boss, and uh, Brave Boy Boss, that's me, the he remembers, so you think too little of that? legs there, Dobo, you would think you'd be nicer to your own kind. You, you, or you maybe, under, maybe I just have a under, better understanding under, of my own. Under, kind. You should, you shouldn't under, uh, you shouldn't think little of me, boss. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's just forget the fucking portal, I guess. Uh, <laughs> this is fucking forget. Them. Back to what, what the fuck are we supposed to do? Before. Clearly, we shouldn't be fucking t uh, going near half water because it, it like blew up. Evelyn's over there. What the fuck should we be doing at this point? I recommend staying away from half water. Fantastic. So I guess we just continue to drift. Can the crystal do anything else yet? Like, can Not I close up yet. portals? Can I open up portals? I'm, like, is there I'm, anything? Okay. I am. I just want to make sure that I'm not like doing anything wrong with this thing. You know. It's it's fine. I've had okay. to expend a large amount of energy to close that portal. 
You, you still good? You alright? Am I am I derping? Are you derping? No. What? I can hear you. Okay. So why why did you say you still good? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm talking to Zelda. I can make sure you said he's expended energy. Oh, 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 oh. I see. What? The Sorry. I thought. <laughs> I to break I my thought, immersion, I, man. I'm also, by the way, I'm pacing back and forth like I'm talking on the phone. I thought Discord <laughs> was shitting itself again. That's why I was no. confused. No. It, I, I am fine. It's the power of the crystal. I've had to okay. expend an amount of it. Okay. All right. I guess. Should you encounter this Evelyn again, alert me immediately. All right, we'll do. Please, Sean, you need anything though. from us? I need you to quit getting in trouble all of the time, young one. Hey, man, shit just seems to find us, all right? Yes. Yeah, indeed. we were leaving a trouble. Anyway, I have a meeting. I must go. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I need to make my three o'clock. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right. Um, so should we just start sailing towards the last long known location of Bromer and just say, let's hope we can forget about evil bitch. But what we should think? note that there was a portal on this ship. It's, yeah, we should just know. he didn't really say if that was his or somebody else's as well. I'm a little worried. Man, you it's nice to hear for a widow bit. It's nighttime. Yeah, sure. Sure, brave one. It's night time. Wow. <laughs> Beam me up, Captain. I want to steer. Are you guys? Are you going upstairs? Uh huh. Sure yeah. Can, yes. Can yeah. That all that ever happened. Motherfuck. We're gonna do. God damn it. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Excuse me. <sighs> she is. She is not glowing purple. Okay. Fuck's sake, I just want to ID my items. <laughs> hey, what's what's good? Oh, hello, Miss Evelyn. <laughs> Evelyn? She like looks at you guys and she's like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. How, how, how am I? Hello, help. What? You don't remember. I kind of, I kind of like point to Macy's and I'm like, I just kind of like point at him and like Adobo and like Brayborn and like at her. I'm just kind of motioning like keep her busy. As so I you just frantically to pointing. I was gonna say it's a lot of <laughs> pointing. No, I'm just, I'm just basically saying like fucking keep that busy because I'm fucking fuck going fuck up here you, out you. of eye shot so she can't fucking see me so I can fucking call Zalabrak. Goddamn motherfuckers! Didn't you listen to the conversation? I, that shit was on speaker. I know you heard. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm very. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna start quote. Calling Zelda back in. What's so that? Pick cold. up the phone. So cold. Like, give her your cape. And so, it's so warm. Uh, don't give her a cape. And so purple. Zelda back. Zelda back in there, buddy. Zelda back. Zelda back. Motherfuckers in a meeting. Zelda back. Hello. Wait, 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 wait. She's on the deck of our ship. She doesn't remember anything. Evelyn, can she I get you anything? Is she purple? No, Eve Evelyn. Can I get you anything? She's not glowing. <laughs> can I, I'm 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 very lost. She's, How have she's I pretending gotten... like nothing happened, and she didn't try to kill us multiple times. I see. Interesting. Evelyn, do you want to sit down? Yeah. I... Yes. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. Go and go. And, go not, and... not on a bar stool. I've heard terrible things about the one <laughs> around here. Go ahead and have a seat here. I've got a bucket. Yeah, there's a bucket here. That's all we got. <laughs> Excellent. Thank, thank, thank you. No problem. Uh, Salabrecker, there you, you seem to be disappearing <laughs> suddenly. <laughs> I, sorry, I had to lend my voice to someone else for a moment. <laughs> Why immersion, you fuck? <laughs> what is she doing now? She's just sitting down. She seems very confused. Mm. I don't, it is possible oh. that... Zalanoth's hold on her has been temporarily disrupted. Whose hold? What? Zalanoth, the rival. I told you about this. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, okay, okay. Right. Well, you'll have to forgive me if we don't really trust her. 
I would not trust her either. I recommend you kill her immediately. Yeah, I was actually going to say if you ask if you're okay with that because I really just don't like her anymore. After I'm an that. actual literal demon. What do you think? I mean, I don't know. Maybe you know people and you're like, oh, maybe they want her oh, for no. something. I don't Please fucking know. Please don't murder things. That's so against my ways as an actual literal demon. Maybe okay. you should donate all of your gold to charity while you're I'm at sorry, it. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Going into the tunnel. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I know you didn't go through a tunnel, young one. <laughs> I can't hear you. You're talking from my pouch. <laughs> You're not muffled enough, motherfucker. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I sneak over to Macy's and I kind of pass along. Uh, probably put her down while we can. Are you serious? I'm sorry. Did she not try to kill us basically twice at this point? Yeah, yeah. And After, how many oh, times and also blew up, a, blew up half water. She doesn't really die. That's what I'm beginning to realize. Oh, she's not glowing right now. Now would be her best chance. Every time we try to kill her, she's been glowing. Well, what'd your little friend say? I couldn't hear him from over here. Let's just say he's in agreement. He wants us to kill her. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, I smacked the fucking... <laughs> We can try. God damn it. Hunter's mark. Rare. <laughs> Rare? <laughs> Just it appearing over its head. <laughs> You're in the wrong ring. Well, I guess we're ready. I mean, yeah, we should probably put now. No, this is no, we gotta we gotta do it. Fuck it. Alright. It's this a bitch ain't got shit on me. She's not looking, just put the back of the head nice and humanely. <laughs> the sound effects production on this show is just. Alright. So you fire an arrow at Evelyn. Uh, 1d6 for the hunters. All right, your your arrow finds it, its mark, sticks straight into the back of her chest, uh, and she falls over dead instantly. <laughs> oh! Yep. Wow! That's what I'm talking about. By the way, Dobo, uh, we really should not have let her stay around very long. We, we were supposed to kill her. Uh, we should probably get the body like overboard, like ASAP. But but why is there she blood? Was... I, I, what, why would you? Why'd you kill her, bots? She, she tried was... to kill us multiple times. Legs. Did you see what happened to Half Water? How it was suddenly on fire and explosions. Yeah, but that she was. was that was she her. Was sad. I, I don't think you should kill someone who's sad. Well, that little demon crystal man told us to kill her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Would you not want to have killed the lady who tried to kill us multiple times and blew up a fucking town coming after us? I'm gonna search her body for wounds and make sure she's actually like a dead. Human she being. is she is stone fucking dead. Yeah. There's blood. There is blood. God, there's... I look over there. All I see is Macy's fucking search. Oh god, fucking it, god, just toss her overboard. Don't try and loot she... the thing. I'm not trying to loot her. I'm just trying to make sure she's human. There's blood all over me now. What, what did you think she was? <laughs> Can you help me lift her up? I can't pick her up on my own. Somebody? Legs. Legs. Okay, okay, Legs. Hold on. Get, get that get the body overboard. Uh, I'm not <laughs> really I'm not really comfortable with this boss. <laughs> I'll hold the legs, you hold the the upper body. <laughs> oh which, which boy, you okay. Hey. You ever cold pack? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Chisel yes. remembers. What the fuck? I'm very confused. I don't know. I don't know if I want to know. <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm afraid. Just move on, don't just nothing happens. I'm trying to throw her overboard. I can't believe you fucking said that. I can't believe we just executed her like that and we're throwing her overboard. You guys are fucked up.
<laughs> no one. You did it. What, that, I what have to live with that. Said was fucked up. <laughs> All right, when you throw her overboard. She floats off to sea. <laughs> What's that? Uh, I'm glad I was hiding in the cabin when that happened. My my hands are weak. <clears throat> I, no one's hands here are clean. We're we all agreed, killer. Except for legs. I, I didn't even kill anybody, boss. If was... the city guards asked, legs did it. I don't think I. <laughs> I don't think I will... there's much of a city for there to be city guards. In. <laughs> I will deny these allegations immediately, boss. <laughs> we should be fine. <laughs> you saw nothing, legs. Uh, I I don't know if I can trust you Quick, anymore. Quick, open the portal again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, now what the hell do we do? Uh, uh keep looking for Bromir. I guess that's what we we're gonna do before the town fucking blew up. I guess we'll continue to sail. Yeah. Wait, you said I could steer. Okay, go nuts. I'll where's be in my the, quarters. Where, where's the wheel? Hmm? Oh. It's on the top deck. The, oh. The, where's the wheel? <laughs> it's it's towards the, the, the back of the ship here. Upstairs. Not in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> What you got in here? All right, I have a lot that I have to deal with. I'm emotionally distraught. We just look at it this way, bro. Okay, you know you didn't kill like a, I don't know, a, a sexy lady or anything. You know, it was an old <laughs> lady who was fragile. A wheel makes its way onto the deck. <laughs> <laughs> no, gotta go. Brave one wrestles it to the ground. Whoa, it evolved. <laughs> oh, God, I may need some help here, folks. <clears throat> she really uses enlarge and it's super effective. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you now have a ship's wheel. I mean, I mean do, it, do what you want with it. I don't care. Uh, you start to uh, try and get your bearing on where you are, uh, and you realize you have drifted quite a bit uh, away from half water. Ugh. We were supposed to head towards um, <clears throat> some place with a thing. Someone told us about what was it? Uh, Mortimer told us to head towards a place. He gave us like last known location of uh, Romir. Yeah. We should head there, even though I don't remember where that is myself. I'm uh, sure. I believe it was the Southern Islands. Sure, we'll just say that's where he where he said it was. <clears throat> okay. Remember, just starts to frantically spin the wheel. Not really sure how to use it. Meanwhile, as the ship suddenly. It's very quiet, and we have time as we pass. I go to my fucking quarters to fucking start IDing all the shit that I brought back from hell. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> We're going in circles. <laughs> Don't take us back to half. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa what are you in the fuel tank. Don't crash this brain board, <laughs> for the love of God. Maybe we spin it this way. Oh, now we're bigger. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I won't let me actually turn the ship upside down. That was what I was trying to do. <laughs> Wait, hang on. What if I... There we go. <laughs> oh, you didn't see white. Are we, are, we, are we in the tsunami? Are we, like, ripping it up right now? <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Shizzle, you're... Do you know the spell to yeah, identify? Yeah, something? I have it. I got uh, <clears throat> was it the book book of ancient secrets? Uh, add lets me add two ritual tag spells, identify and detect magic. So, yes, I know the spell. Okay, and you said it takes a while for it to actually cast. 
Sure. Well, there, if, if it's considered a ritual tag, then yeah, it usually takes a bit. So I just figured I'd clump them all up into a big pile and just do them all at once. That way okay. you don't have to. Yeah. How many items is it? Uh, Five. <clears throat> demon chain, demon eye, two succubus rings, and a clump of shiny pebbles. Okay. All right. Somehow another Brayborn eventually manages to get you to arrive on the uh, the shore of the Southern Islands. Um, as you approach the shore of the Southern Islands, you see a uh, a ship that uh, a shipwreck that looks like it's been there for quite some time. Macy, see that? Yeah, yeah. Let's get up to it. That look like your dad's ship at all? I can't tell from here. I wouldn't think so. He he's never crashed a ship. No way. First time for everything. Could be loose on it. Let's, let's get closer. All right. So you uh, you get the the ship cl close to shore, cl close to shore, close to shore, uh, and then you um, get in like one of the little dinghies so that you can go in. Uh, and you approach the shipwreck. Ooh. A budget. <laughs> Damn. I had this specifically commissioned by Google Image Search. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Google Image Search did this shit? Fuck. <laughs> I don't Is think they're taking any more commissions. That's fucking dope. Is there uh, something I'd have to roll to see if it's... If I know it's my father's ship. I think uh, we'd have to. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you can, uh, by from looking on, like, from a distance, you could roll. I guess it'd be an investigation roll, pretty much, regardless. So, yeah, you're you're currently a fair distance from it, but you could do an investigation roll from there to see if you recognize it. Done. Shit. All right. You, you can't tell. You can tell it's a it's, ship. You can tell it's a ship. You successfully identified that this is in fact a ship. There are things about it that ship, are guys. relatively similar to <laughs> your father's ship, but um, nothing that specifically identifies it as, as such as you, that you can see from there. The um, the jungle has kind of overgrown it pretty tremendously. Yeah, I don't know the if this can be your dad's ship, considering how you know how overgrown it is right at this point. Because he was reported in this area not too long ago. I mean, it was like a month and a half ago, but still. This has been here a real long while. Let's go in. All right, so you kind of, um, you spot the opening in the hole. You kind of work your way up to it, and it looks like um, it's wrecked in such a way that the actual structure is relatively sound. There's just holes in it from either some sort of battle or um, a storm that may have ripped parts of it apart uh, you're not quite sure why it's wrecked here in the first place um but it's it's relatively stable stuck into the sand in the in this little uh cove that it's gotten itself stuck in um they're looking around okay uh um go ahead and do another uh investigation check All right, uh, so crawling around the ship uh, and looking around, you see there's several uh, skeletons in the lower the lower half of the uh, of the ship that are just sort of laying off to the side as though uh, they may have been uh, like piled there previously by someone who had survived uh, the shipwreck and was like trying to, you know, pay respect to their dead or whatever. Uh, so they put them all in a pile, I guess. That doesn't make that much sense, but sure. <laughs> They look like they were put there. <clears throat> um, and several of the skeletons are wearing uniforms uh, with markings of the um, uh, of the Navy that your father commanded. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Um, these uniforms look familiar. So is this a ship? I guess I just keep searching around looking for <clears throat> like a name on the side of it or something, or maybe um, 
A Maybe, flag? Did you not notice the paint job said USS Bromir? <laughs> Let me go look for USS the USS quarters. USS famous yeah, captain. Uh, my... <laughs> I'm gonna look for the captain's quarters. Alright, you go and you find the, the captain's quarters. Um, the door is closed and locked tight. And somehow, even though most of the rest of the ship is pretty rotten, uh, this door is is not. Mm -hmm. I kick it open. I kick it open with all my furious strength. All right, go ahead and roll a strength check. God, I want him to like bounce. Father. Off. Oh, he's gonna bounce off it. All right, you uh, you land a pretty solid hit, and it seems like it's starting to give, but it hasn't completely broken away. Do I All just right. keep hitting it? You can kick it again if you okay. want. Yeah. Five, yeah. Father! Don't worry, you'll get it this time, man. Oh! He kicked the hole right, the into second... another dimension. The door just <laughs> disintegrates, just explodes into fucking splinters. The second time you kick it, it, it busts open. Uh... The, the door just comes flying off of its hinges. Um, and in the middle of the room stands someone who looks an awful lot like your father, but he's completely still. This is awkward. Dad? I run up to him and tap him on the sh Is he, like, looking away from me? He's kind of, like... He's standing as though he like he's looking towards the door. As you move around, his his eyes don't move at all to follow anything. I run up to him and grab him by the collar and, and look him in the eyes and say, Father! Give uh, him a hug. It's your son. He doesn't react at all, and in fact you notice that as you grab his collar, his clothes don't even move. Oh. It's like perfectly rigid. Lol. There's a wax. Thing? What is this? It, it still um, feels like it has the texture of cloth oh, like, to it. Yeah. It's just, it, it will not move. So it's uh, it's like is he a stone spell? Petrified? Are, you guys, petrified? In, are you guys in here? Yeah, 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 we're, yeah, yeah. Listen, we're like out in the corner behind just, you. Like looking through the door. Poke my head is, in. Is, I would assume you hear him shouting about you're his looking father. For? Uh, so this is, is, this is my, in? it looks like my father, but he's, something's wrong here. Uh, take a look okay. at this. Come take a look at this. All right. He's not uh, moving. I go in and I guess I use uh, arcane uh, investigation. So just use arcane, arcana, or whatever. Because I think it's I think he's petrified personally, or some petrified spell or bullshit that's on him. So you can um, let's see. You can roll Arcana. That, that's mostly a knowledge check to to know oh, if there's okay. a kind of spell that would do this sort of thing. Oh, okay. Um, or if you have like detect magic or something, you could roll that. I do have detect magic, but it'd take a bit. Oh, it's a I ritual. Think. Well, I would think it would. Uh, I'm pretty sure detect magic is instant. It's just not terribly. Um. Let's see. It's one action, so it's pretty close to instant. It lasts up to 10 minutes. Okay, um, I guess I'd do that then. It shows a faint aura, um, and you learn its school of magic. That school would be. All right, one sec. All right, so you cast... Uh, um... You cast Detect Magic, and you immediately sense a really, really strong transmutation aura coming from around him. Hmm. So, is that, like, 100% your dad, uh, Macius? What? Sorry, what? Is that your dad? Because, I mean, whoever yeah, it looks this like is... like him, I don't hit, know. Whoever this is has been hit by a really fucked up strong spell. I don't well, think I can lift that. Well, do you know the spell to? Get nah, rid of I, it? I, no idea. I mean, I could try dispelling it with the crystal. I don't know if that's gonna do good though. Ooh, yeah, there you go. Unless uh, Brayborn's got anything. You got anything for this Brayborn? Um, I don't think so. 
Let me see. I don't think I picked up the spell magic. I think it's too far. I think it's, yeah, it's a more advanced spell. What about... What yeah, about the spell this? magic's a lot higher level. It's level three. What about... Can I do that? Are you trying to send a message to the dude that's, like, frozen? Oh, yeah, yeah that's it... a pretty good idea. Because it, it like he doesn't talk; it's all through whispers. He has like some kind of telepathy whispers, of sorts. Would that work, Lore? Um, or not? Would it work? Is it possible? Like, is that a thing I could try? You could try it, yeah. What would I roll? Uh, I don't think you actually have to roll anything for it. I think you just do it. So then, Brayborn puts both two fingers together on each hand and puts them to his head, and then he looks right at Macius's dad. And tries to talk to him through the mind tactics. Uh, hey, hey, yo, Earth to Macy's dad, anybody there? Uh, you get the strong sense that someone is trying to reply but is unable to. <laughs> like, you basically get the sound of it, it, it's strange to describe, but a silent whisper back. Like a muffled whisper, like someone has something over their mouth or something? Oh, yeah, sorry, like, you know, like my bad. Just... you know how if you have like a microphone, you can kind of tell that there's a microphone on even if no one's saying anything. It's like that. Just like he... silence, but with a little bit of background to it. He, 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 someone's in there. I, I, I hear something, but it's not like I can't understand anything. Macy's, I think your dad may be a potato. Oh, there's got to be some magic that can get him out of this. I don't know. It's... I don't know. All right. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll hold up the crystal and see if I can dispel magic with it. I mean, see if I can, like, hold it up and see if it'll, like, maybe absorb it. I don't fucking know. I guess like, just... call up Zalbrak again, I guess. Okay. Um... So you, you call up Zalabrak. I'll call Zalabrak in, yeah. Okay, you call up Zalabrak and you point the crystal at it. And uh, he's... Show him what's going on, yeah. Yes. This appears to be some sort of time magic. Uh, is that like time the magic. fucking portal that was on the uh, ship earlier? Hmm, yes, quite possibly. All right. Uh, any idea what we can do here to fix this? Would it, maybe we open up the portal and th throw my father through it. I don't know if I can open it. Mm, I can, can I? try to open the same portal again. I am not sure where it was going before. But I should be able to mimic the magic. Yes, this may work. All right, let's do it. God, I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's going to be so proud. Once he sees my ship. Definitely All better right. looking than his. My crew. Definitely better, well, better looking than his. All right, so um, right. after a second or two, uh, a portal opens kind of like next to him. All right. I... Uh, I guess try and lift him up and push him through, guys. I yep, should yep. warn you, I'm not entirely certain where this portal goes. Yeah, don't step through, guys, just in case. Well, I'll I'll go through with him. No, I, don't go through. He's, he's uh, my I father. Should, uh, I should, I should, I should go through. I'm with not. Him. Send, I'm not you sending him through alone. I'm yeah, not but going, what if it, it sends you back alone. in time? You don't remember this whole fucking conversation, man. Well, I, then I'll remember when I come back, or you can explain it to me. Oh, for fuck's sake! Uh, I'm going with my father. Just push him. Th I'm going with my father. All right. Good job, Macy's. It's uh, I won't. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. You'll see. If you don't make it back, can I have the ship? We're gonna make it back. But if you don't, we did just say happy day to go. He's gonna be so it, proud. Man. Don't go through. He's gonna be proud. I start to drag him through the portal. With him. So you you have it. So you're kind of going through the portal first and dragging him, with you. Or like side by side at the same time. Okay. So, uh, Macius grabs, uh, 
the, his very stiff father. Oh, Jesus, that was a terrible sentence. Alasius <laughs> 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 yeah. grabs his very rigid father and uh, steps through the portal with him. Uh, and they both just go through. So, see what we should do. If he doesn't come back, what happens to the ship? I don't know. We probably wait a little bit. We don't know. How... He said, like, but how he's much imitating a little man. bit? At least a couple days, probably. Days? You're in a portal. You can't hear us, motherfucker. <laughs> I was gonna wait a couple hours, but okay. <laughs> you don't know. We're, oh, it was we're instant. trying to imitate fucking, you know. Fucking, Dobo's uh, already bored. He's left. <laughs> he's trying to imitate fucking different magic. I'm in the same. Like, that's not. Could be way off, man. You don't know. Young one, did the portal work? I mean, they disappeared through it. I don't know where they are. I see. Ah. Uh... You can probably I, close it at this point. Uh, are you certain? You know what? No, better off leaving it open just for now. I, can I close it on my end? I don't have to call you back like for that, so I can just do it myself. I will. I am currently channeling to keep this portal open. I cannot maintain it for much okay. longer, however. They've already gone through. Can you, like, can you detect them? Like, are they around here somewhere? I cannot while I maintain this portal, no. Fuck. Uh. All right. I guess just drop it. I guess they went through. They've already made it all the way through. So I guess what's done is done. I guess keeping it open isn't going to do anything. All right. Very well. And the portal disappears. <laughs> I don't so, think he's uh, coming back. Uh. The end. Or you no, shut the door. <laughs> wait. Wait, what? Wait, did I miss something? Sorry, I had to step away shut for a moment. The door? What? You shut the portal. Huh? Yeah. Isn't that how it's supposed to come through? No. Okay. I don't fucking know. Well, it's like a time portal. You you walk through and then you you go back in time. All right. None of us have any idea what we're. I doing. have no fucking idea, man. <laughs> wait, I what the fuck? Not have gone through that shit. What the fuck? <laughs> no. wait, wait, what the fuck just happened? Okay, what you what what were you what were you listening to before? I I I I had I had to, the kid woke up. I just wanted to put him to sleep. Yeah, but uh, I know, I, I, you guys you yeah. guys were were doing some shit. Um, uh, and you were dragging the body. You could drag the body through the portal or something. Oh yeah, he went through. Uh, we waited. Nothing happened. Uh, Brayburn asked what we should do if he never comes back. And I said, well, we'll give him a couple days at the very least to come back just in case. And then uh, Zalbrex like, yeah, I can't be channeling this shit forever. And I was like, all right, I guess fucking just close it. What's done is done, and we'll figure out where they show up and when they show up. And so we close it, and there you are. You've missed pretty much nothing. Damn. So I guess we're just kind of sitting around waiting. All right. You want to go ahead and ID your stuff? <laughs> this is I should have done that on the fucking ship right here. <laughs> I just don't know what the results are. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you those. Uh... So, what is it you had again? I keep forgetting the list of things. I think I have it in Discord somewhere. Bump of shiny it. pebbles, two Sagabris rings, a demon eye, and a demon chain. Okay. So, the demon chain isn't really anything fancy other than uh, it's a chain with, like, plus one damage on it. A uh, spike chain with plus one damage. Um, the demon eye... Is giving you all sorts of, um, it's it's something really really strong in the demon eye, but even your ritual can't really uh, nail down exactly what it does. Um, mm. The two succubus nipple rings are literally just nipple rings, so congrats <laughs> on those, you perv. You said they detected magic, man. When I fucking grabbed them, that's why I grabbed them. Yeah, yeah, they detected magic, but the magic was just to make them look shiny. If you don't want those nipple wings, I mean, I gotta take them off your head. <laughs> I don't care. It's the years, man. Oh. Uh, and the clump of shiny pebbles uh, appears to be some sort of, like, crystallized magic. What like kind magic. of nipple rings are they? Magical essence that is crystallized in some capacity. 
Uh huh. Right. So anyway, uh, Macius has gone through the portal with his father. Uh, and you guys are standing around, picking your butts. Can I? Can Brayborn do a <clears throat> investigation roll to see if there's any like treasure around him? Because they're inside the ship, right? Yeah. You can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. All right, so the captain's cabin, which you're in, seems to have been very much uh, undisturbed by whatever has rotted down the rest of the ship. Um, there's all sorts of, like, fancy-looking jewelry sitting around, uh, like a couple of nice-looking, um, uh, like, goblets and stuff, uh, some nice dinnerware sort of things. Uh, a nice mirror in the corner. Um, however, Brayborn doesn't notice any of that. Brayborn notices <gasps> that there's a stick on the floor. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, pointy. <laughs> this is now the, the flip side of the coin with all of the good rolls that he was getting at the beginning. And now here at the <laughs> end, when it really counts, it's all garbage. Uh, uh, well, I cast attack <clears throat> magic on the uh, on the Bromer. Did I see anything else in the room that was glowing when that happened? Uh, not really. Like, there's a faint transmutation aura around the entire room, but it's been slowly diminishing ever but since. But that's the because of okay, because the room was frozen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can we just open up the portal and jump in, or was that already crossed off the list while I was blinking? We we closed it. Okay, can we just open it back up, or...? I really don't think we should all be going through that shit. I don't know, I feel... What if he needs our help? Maybe we should. He could be doing... Ah, uh, fuck. He could be walking back to the ship right now because it dropped him fucking, like, 30 feet outside. Yeah, but then we'll be near him. I don't know if we drop... Fuck, we'd spend, like, fucking five minutes now. We're gonna drop... Wherever the fuck they dropped. So they probably fucking left that area. And just... Whatever. If you guys want to open it up and go back through, we'll fucking go through. We do it. Oh, we do it. All right. Guess we'll have to fucking call Bazaar back to <laughs> open this bitch up again. Hey, we're, we're, very, we're a very indecisive group of people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good times. So, uh... You there, buddy? What? Yes, young one. These guys are getting impatient. We can't find where these guys are at. They want to go through the portal now themselves. Has no one returned through the portal? No. I see. Well, I suppose I could reopen. Yeah... Might have to do that. I figure it's not the best idea, but we really are out of options at this point because we kind of shouldn't really be leaving people behind. All right, one second. So you go ahead and portal reopens. Uh, and it's sort of floating in front of you. I just jump right in. No. no. God damn it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna kind of care when we go in there, but I guess you want to move. Fucking cannonball! Kick cannonball. What do you mean? All right, and I step through after him, I guess. All right, so you you step through the portal, uh, and you emerge to find yourself. Oh, hang on. in the same exact location, but the ship is now on the high seas <laughs> and you are surrounded by the crew of the ship. No. The fuck? And you can see Bromir and uh, Macius 
standing next to you. Bromir appears to have recovered, but uh, he does not seem to be very healthy. Uh, and Macius is sort of leaning over him. Uh, Bromir is like laying down on the on the floor. Macius is leaning over him. Father, uh, just so, tell me what to do. I'll do anything, Father. So when you stepped through, uh, Macius, what happened was um, you walked through the other side. Immediately, your father slumped to the floor, um, no longer rigid. Uh, he's now very limp, in fact. What did you uh, say he's flaccid? What'd you do, Macius? <laughs> <laughs> um, he fell down to the ground, uh, and he, like, rubbing his eyes very, very much in pain. Um... Like does not does not look like he's very happy about anything at the moment, um, but seems to be alive, um, and he hasn't really responded to you at all yet. So you've just been sort of like trying to figure out what's going on, and then all of a sudden, uh, Adobo, Davis, and Brayborn appear through the portal next to you. Guys, I need help over. He's not doing so great. Don't you know some kind of healing thingy? Me? Yeah, you. B barely. Do you you know I don't delve in the magics often. Which one? Why you don't? Uh, shit. I cure wounds. I, I cure wounds on him. Let me try that. All right. Um, I think that's. Uh, hang on. I think it's two d six. Oh no! Wait. This is the very wrong. None of those numbers were correct that I just said. Uh, one d eight. D six sounds good. Yeah. All right. Um, and it's plus your spell casting ability modifier, which is. Let's see here. Uh. I think it's actually zero. So I think you heal him for six. Uh, but he certainly seems to be feeling like he, he sort of shakes his head for a second uh, and like looks up at you and goes, Son? Father! Ooh. How are you here? I've traveled here with my crew. I'm a captain now. You can hear the tales we have, boy. Father. You're only a Boy, Macius. No, no, father. We, we, I have my own ship now. These are my crewmates here, guys. Guys, Hello. tell him. I am. I am his first mate. My name is Boyborn. <laughs> Did you? Uh, He's more of a you... deckhand, father. It, is, uh, <laughs> Davis and Adobo as well. Don't away with your friends. No, 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 we've been going on adventures, uh, searching the great seas. Discovering new places. Have you you seen what's that shithole town it's called? Halfwater. <laughs> we were there for a month. Yeah, half water. <laughs> half water. Why? Yes, people were saying they saw you there. They, they're saying it. It was you, right? Yes. A, a, a mission sent me here, but uh, it's been some time since we were in half water. It couldn't have been that long ago. People said they saw you there very recently. That's impossible. And you're... Hang on. And he, like, looks at you really closely. How... How long have I been away? You seem to have grown five years at least in age. Well, I, I'm not sure how long it, it's been, Father. You have been gone for quite some time. I think I'm 16-ish. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely a man. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Recently. Oh, yeah. No longer a boy. Wait. And he, like, sort of hobbles up and goes over and looks out one of the windows, and he's like, oh, no. What? What is we it? We must, we must, we must leave. We must stop the ship. We must turn around. We must not enter this place. Yes, I agree. If if you knew how we got here, it, it's it's a long story. But we went through a portal. You were frozen in time. It, there's a big purple portal, and there's this little demon thing that uh, Davis has in his pack there. Maybe 
you could talk to him. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we shouldn't maybe. just always bring that over. What, what do you mean? What, my father would be able to help. He's a great captain. One of the greatest in the entire world. He, he'll know what to do. Show him, the, show him the demon do. thing, Davis. It's just a crystal. It's just Father, a crystal. father, here, come look at this. I pull father over. Okay. Davis, what? show it to him. Show it to him. Do it. Do it. <clears throat> Just show him the damn crystal. Jesus, On the road basis, yeah. Maybe we don't go it... showing everyone the crystal. <laughs> so we'll be there it's my right. father. All right. I'm saying down the road. You just All right, show everyone the crystal. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You maybe gotta take me on first date first or something, you know? Give me, give me knock it up. I don't know. Can't fucking just be doing this out without liquor. Jesus. All right, I guess I'll just pull, whip out my crystal for him. <laughs> Did you say, get me knockered, knockered. up? Knockered. <laughs> <laughs> There's supposed to be a S there. Snockered? You never heard that? No. Yeah, no. Right, whatever. Knockards. <laughs> Knockered. I pulled out the crystal right for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. Move on. <laughs> no, I'm really curious about the spelling of this particular word. Uh, okay, so you, you pull out the crystal and he immediately reels away from it. How, how did you get that? Uh, long story, we pulled it out of a giant obelisk in the sea. After the crazy lady absorbed all of its power. It's a crate. It's quite the adventure, father. I killed a man. Yeah, you... And a woman. I... Really? I... I... You must throw that overboard immediately. Yeah, I'm gonna not do that. It's not safe. It's definitely safer in my hands than anybody else's. I don't know. Everything you've, since you've had that crystal, things have been going awry. Have I been Maybe. possessed and tried to kill you or blown up a town? No, Spoiler. but you've been opening no. porters that could be screwing up all of time in itself. I didn't want to jump through them, to be fair. I also didn't want to open one to throw, up your, throw your dad through. I was down to look for a different way. You're the one who wanted to do all this. It's the only reason you're standing right now, Father. You you were petrified. The portal saved you. So he he sort of like a, a wash of realization goes over his face. He stands up and moves over to um, a chest that's over in the corner. Um, fishes a key out of his pocket and opens the chest, uh, reaches inside and pulls out another crystal that's exactly identical to the one that Davis has. What the... Is it glowing? Wait, can you call somebody on it's, that? It's not glowing. Oh, shit. That, that's Where'd you get that one from here? We we found it recently. Where? We were searching this area. And then... A, a strange figure appeared on deck. What'd it look like? Uh, a, a, a woman wearing blue robes. Evelyn! Ooh. Okay. Shit. Uh, hmm. I killed her father. Do you want that one? Uh, or... Are you legs did? Are you sure? Because we killed her too. I noticed the man on on legs. <laughs> I killed her father. <laughs> I mean, legs did. Yeah, I, I noticed that. What That's pretty good. Bag. <laughs> Wait, so you killed her. As well. She, yes, but she came back. She that's what happened when we did it. She, now, when she, you uh, killed her, did you did you did you see it, like turn to a puff of smoke, or did you actually have a body? No, she fell to the ground dead. Mm hmm. Completely Giant. dead. We threw her overboard. That's what we did. Fuck. <laughs> Has no one ever thought of the possibility of just burning the body? Hang on, can, I, can I see that request real fast? He uh, hesitates, but then hands it to you. All right, I hold it up, but then I pull out mine, and then I call up Zelda back, and, and they kind of point it at each other, and I'm like, "Uh, you there, buddy? What? What? Yes, I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm getting <laughs> terrible feedback. Oh. Hang on, hang on, I kind of. I kind of tilt the crystal a little bit. Is it better now? Uh, strangely, yes. What did you do? I just tilted to the left. Don't worry about it. Um, this doesn't make any amount of sense. Don't worry about it. So, 
Do you know what happened to us after we went through the portal? Which portal? The one that we pushed Macy's father oh. through? Yes. Oh my god, um, okay, thank god. If you didn't know, I was gonna be really fucking confused. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Who is this? How did you get this number? number? <laughs> <laughs> no, um... I, I, I must admit, I lost track of you. I thought you had died. How long have we been gone for you? Uh, it's hard to say. It's not exactly a, a watch that I sent you through. It's been only a couple of moments since we last spoke. Okay. Okay, then, okay. Well, see, now we're on uh, Bromir's ship, but it's fully functioning in the ocean, and we're not at the cove anymore where it was ruined and rotting. So clearly something's happened. Yes, that is highly surprising. Uh, also, I happen to have an identical crystal in front of me that then from the one I'm talking to you from. So care to do some explaining? Is it is it exactly identical or is it just a similar crystal? I, I believe a voice in my head, head said it was exactly the same. It is, in fact, exactly the same down to like little scuffs on it and everything. Hmm. Except for this one's not glowing. Interesting. You know, I had wondered if some sort of magic was possessing the crystal. It does now seem to be the case. I recommend you leave. What's this fucking solution to everything? Ah. Uh, huh. And by that you mean through a portal or. Oh, yes, of course. You are in the middle of an ocean. Um, leaving may not be optional. No. Great. So let's move on beyond the leaving and ex ex discuss maybe what we can actually do. I see. Yes. Um. I'm gonna have to call you back. <laughs> uh, fuck. <laughs> so, um, as you're all sitting here discussing. Uh, the door opens, and Romir walks through from the other side. What into the room where oh. also Romir is? Uh, uh, what's is there like a noticeable age difference between the two? Very slightly, yes. <laughs> All um, right, Macy's. Which Bromere, one is the the Bromir that you came through with has a little bit more of a beard. Uh, <laughs> Macy's. Wait, uh, Macius, do, do you have like a progressive family where you have two fathers? We no. This is. <laughs> do, you, two do you have twin, two fathers, and but they're actually the same person? <laughs> I don't know, man. Wait, okay, so petrified father came with us through the portal from our time. To, we either went back in time a fucking fair bit, or we jumped. To an alternate fucking timeline. But wait, the where was the crystal? Where did we find the crystal? Crystal's here. Like it's, it's second in crystal. The ship. Where did we find the second crystal? Second Bromir. crystal's in, like in his cabin. Oh, in Bromir's Bromir cabin. Oh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Was it in Bromir's cabin or was it on Bromir's yeah. person? No, it was in his cabin. But we're talking to the we're talking to the the Bromir from the fucking future though. Like, from our timeline. So... And then young Bromir just walked in. Yeah, but it's his cabin, so he knows exactly the cabin inside and out. Why don't we just let the bro but, 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 so fathers the discuss this? No, that's a bad idea. Hello, Earth to me, please. Have you never seen Batman time in the future? Cop. They can't see each other. Okay. <laughs> oh, I was thinking like, like a time cop, but... It's... <laughs> I think we're in a different timeline, personally. So, the the new Bromir, the slightly younger one, looks around the room, sees all of you, sets his eyes on the slightly older Bromir, goes, Aha! I found you! Oh, it's the imposter, maybe. Raises his pistol and points it at the Bromir that's with you. No! I stand in front of my father, the one that's been with us, and shield him. Step Put your out weapon of the down. way. Wait. How did you get here, Macius? I have my ways. It's the imposter, uh, guys. Have you Just been saying. stowing away? Are these your uh, friends? Oh, be God. An imposter. Be an imposter? Father? Test him. Test him something that you only, only child Macius would know. Yeah. How many times he beat you with the belt when you were two? What color is underwear? Uh, 
Wait, wait, how do I know which one's the real fu- You holding the gun. Yes. Prove to, you, to prove to me that you're my father. And not an imposter. Macius. You know that I have no such things to prove to you. Uh, when there's two of you standing in the same room, I, I think it's a pretty legitimate question. He just walks over and slaps you on the face. Uh, <laughs> father? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's around fucked up. <laughs> I turn around and, and look at the one that I was protecting and step away. The, the one that you were protecting goes, I am as confused as anyone, but I assure you that I am Romeo. All right, do you guys want to talk about this, uh, Bromir's bros? Because <laughs> want to chat this up, maybe fill us in? Hang on. Super Bromir <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. No, no, hang on. Just a second here. Bromir with the extra beard, the older one. When you look at the boat and the islands, do you recognize the surrounding? Yes, this is where we came uh, only a few short days ago. We... Uh arrived here and brought the crystal with us and don't remember the results of that. Oh. Well, that's a bit useless then. So you've been here, though? Yes. And you know, you know the destination you're heading. This is why I said we must leave, because we, we arrived and that woman appeared once again, and that's all I remember. But you know the destination? Yes. Could you tell that destination to the younger version of you so that he knows that you're going that you're you? Uh, yes, yeah, yes, of course. I, I, I would not like to share this information with an obvious imposter, however. Well, how about you tell Macius and then Macius learns a destination from the imposter and that way we, Macius can know if they're either one's lying or if they're both telling the truth. The two bromires sort of look at each other and look at Macius. And then like just kind of nod. Yes, that will almost certainly expose the imposter. Okay, what well, whispered in my ear? Because if one's going on a mission that he hasn't finished yet and the one's already done the mission, then they both should know where we're going and what we're going to be doing. Yeah. Okay, so... One just doesn't know the outcome. What if they Beardy, both know it? Beardy Bromir leads over, leans over and whispers uh, basically a set of coordinates into Macius's ear. And younger Bromir? So Macius walks over to younger Bromir. Uh, and he whispers the same coordinates into Macius's ear. Same chords, fellas. But wait, what? Why? Well, new father, fuck. New father, why did you come in here pointing a gun at old father? Why do you want to I, kill him, and why are you looking for him? You've, you've certainly, if you've been in this area, you've heard the reports that there is an imposter of mine in this area. It's clearly this individual. He must yeah. have overheard me discussing our coordinates. I hate to break it to you, but pretty sure we already figured out where you're going. When we got there, the ship had looked like it had been wrecked for months and it had rotted most of the way. Winter cabin, which was pristine and under a strong transmutation spell, as well as you, which has aged noticeably with the beard, as you can see, which we then tossed through a time portal that we opened that Macy's carried you through to here and then we came through afterwards so either this is all we're all in on the imposter ruse or nah sorry dude I'm just saying that's, that's pretty elaborate well I makes your head hurt yeah me too I, I, I must admit, I find this highly unbelievable. Hmm. 
No, it's 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 clear. This is the imposter, and he somehow managed to trick my son as well as whoever the rest of you are into assisting him. Well, are you sure it's an imposter, or this could be some sort of rift in the time here? Because we just saw a uh, double of our shipmates' legs, didn't we? Did we should... Evelyn. I don't remember that. We well, Evelyn. Know. We saw. Oh, we saw the. Okay, we don't think we saw double. Uh, Wait, Matthias, I have an idea. Yeah, yeah. Do you trust me? I kind of, sort of. <laughs> Do you trust me? I said kind of, sort of. It's the best you're going to get. <laughs> Brayborn walks over to Macius and puts two hands on his shoulders and looks in his eye deeply. Do you trust me? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> fine. Oogie. Now did the son trust we board. Fathers, do you understand that? Oh, it, they both just kind of stammer for a second. I, what are we meant to understand? That your son, your little baby boy, trust we board. Okay. He also believes in a talking rabbit. I'm sorry? Uh, it, 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 it was... I haven't talked about chance in a while, but... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that's, uh, that's a very interesting thing to learn just at this very moment. But hold on. And Brayborn leans down to the father that's laying down. He's still laying down, right? He's injured. Uh, he's been He's been up and just sort of like leaning on things. Okay. So they're both up. Yeah. So Brayborn walks over to that one, the one that came with us, and gets very awkwardly close to him. Trust me. Uh, and, then, and then Brayborn grabs his hand and pulls up his sleeve a little bit. Don't worry, it won't hurt. And then Brayborn just <laughs> licks from his the bottom of his hand all the way up to the top of his elbow. Uh, what the? F Jesus. <laughs> Macius. What? I, I don't Who know. Is this? Interesting. And Brayborn yeah, yeah. starts to make his way over to the other, uh, the other father. <laughs> God. The other and? father's like, no, 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 no yes, no. yeah, yes, no. yes. <laughs> you, you, father, just, trust me. father, just let him do this. We're trying to figure this out. There's nothing to figure out, Macius. D listen, I was able to tell that a tsunami was coming by do having someone drink water for me, okay? I know what I'm doing. We have yet to see this tsunami, but, <laughs> <laughs> but we will definitely let you know. Tsunami, <laughs> <laughs> so then, also, Davis, shut up. Just <laughs> separately. I'm just shaking my head in this corner. This whole fucking. <laughs> I said one fucking word as a joke, and then a fucking temporal portal was in the fucking deck, and there was. God damn it. <laughs> what was the joke? Idea, ID those spells that you've been trying. <laughs> Brayborn grabs the the other father's hand really quick and licks it as well. Ah, Macius. Control I, your friend. I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> Dad, I... Can I do a, uh... What would it be? A perception hey, roll? And a taste check. A taste just, check. Are you just, just trying to find out if they taste the same? Yeah, you're trying to see if they taste the same. See if they're they, the same person. They taste the same. So that he just licked both of them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So they both taste the same. I'm just going to put it out there right now. They taste very gross and old. That, and that's all I got. That's... <laughs> well, thank you very much for your contribution, whoever you are. Does anyone else want to taste this? Put their mouths on, uh, on Macy's <laughs> dad's. <laughs> maybe, maybe Brayborn should taste test the rest of the party. <laughs> Adobo, come here. <laughs> 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 
Today we learned out Brayborn's tongue is numb and he actually can't taste anything. <laughs> All right, so the the younger Bromir, the one with the gun, uh, starts talking about how he's gonna like send the send all of you downstairs into the brig um and how uh he's gonna have to keep an eye on you uh especially the imposter I mean, he is very clearly meaning the beardy bromere beardy bromere beardy bromere um when all of a sudden there is a very loud crack that comes from the hull of the ship Oh God! What was that? You guys can't actually see anything, but you like feel the ship rocking around and so on. I look at the older Bromir. This uh, sound familiar to you? Oh dear, it's happening. We we must all leave the ship immediately. Drive to your dad's now. <laughs> <laughs> My fathers were famous captains. <laughs> <laughs> Press, family. Press two fathers. Get so, um, uh, younger Bromir just goes back out the door and, uh, you just start hearing a whole bunch of like his crew, like shouting and screaming and stuff from outside. So this is the part where we open the portal and get the fuck out back to the rotten ship, right? Everybody in the greens. Mm -hmm. Unless we can change what happened before and. Now that we're like, here, I don't, we think, we're gonna, I don't think we're gonna change it. I think we should just get back to the time we came from and have two crystals now. And we have your dad. We but have your older dad. You have Which to the proper dad. charge this because that's the past dad. So we can't have them both because eventually one of them's gonna disappear. So yes, we should but... probably just go. Is he gonna be petrified again? If yeah, but then, uh, but then in that timeline, we'll come along and we'll save him because there's probably another group of us out there right now. We shouldn't be back in time, man. It's bad news. I was going to say, do we have a picture of Bo of uh, Macius to make sure he doesn't disappear later on? In the picture? <laughs> I don't think we went that far back in time. Maybe learn how I can learn how to play Earth Angel, I'm just saying. <laughs> you want to be good, you mean? It was Earth, no, Earth Angel that played when... It was Earth Angel that played when the picture was disappearing and then it switched into... The dramatic Back to the Future mu music moon, and after that, that's when Johnny B. Good played. All right, get learn the lore, please, if you're gonna try and correct me. <laughs> Not true. They're very true, actually. I bet a hundred dollars on it. Deal. Okay. So, um, what do you guys want to do? Because uh, th at this point, this is a little fucked up. I just want you guys to know that uh, I Google image search Macius. And, uh, hang on. This is what came up. Where are you putting? Wow. <laughs> what is that? That's apparently Macius. Oh. Food for life. <laughs> <laughs> Looks Wait, just where like did you. Where did you post it? It's... Look at the game game, dude. Oh. Yeah. So anyway. Now you know. You're Googling some weird shit there. <laughs> Hood for life. Only me. <laughs> Such a thug right. name. Macius. What, what really are you guys thug. doing? <clears throat> you trying I to think, reopen the portal? I personally think we should go back to the portal and hope that it takes us back to where we came from. But I don't know if that's going to potentially worsen the issue or what. I don't know who agrees or who what, what everyone else wants to do because no one else has suggested a line of action. I I wicked people. I don't know what you want from me. I'm doing my best here, bud. So the the ship is starting to. You're hearing lots of cracking sounds, and you can hear people are getting more and more like uh, concerned about whatever's going on outside. Well, we should at least see what's going on. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Or do you guys just want to bounce? 
I kind of want to see what's, see what's going, going on, on upstairs. I think we should oh. fucking bounce since we're in a fucking earlier timeline, but okay. Let's let's check it out. So you just sort of poke your head out of the door. Um, like you open up the door again because he closed it behind him. Then you poke your head out and there is a giant fucking like Cthulhu style sea monster with a big ass tentacle shoved through the, the lower half of the ship. That portal's looking pretty good now, huh, guys? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Wait, wait, what happens if Macy's dad dies here, though? He won't be in the future then, right? He already made it through this timeline once. Let's I've already been born. Us being here, then, uh... Let's just hope that us being here has to fuck up whatever he does in this I've battle. I've already been born. He doesn't do anything else useful. <laughs> <laughs> I still think that picture idea is a thing we should probably look into, but whatever. So we going like, guys? It takes like an hour to take a photo. Yeah, let's go, let's go through. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. All right, I pull out the crystal and fucking either try and summon the portal myself or I have to call Zalabrak to do it. One of the two. So you call up Zalabrak because uh, none of the none of the portals that you've opened so far were you able to actually do anything yourself. Um, what is it, young one? Uh, <laughs> so. It seems like we we went I'm back in time with her. Yeah, shut up, shut up. Number. We got we no no time to talk. Okay, we got we went back in time. It's very frustrating really when someone interrupts you, young one. Yeah, I'm aware. You cut me off. All right, we're back in time. There's two Maces here. The original one uh, is Wait, with us. Wait, there's not two of me. There's two Bromers. There's two Bromers. Sorry, I'm a little flustered right now because we're about to fucking die because of the Cthulhu fucking monster attacking this ship, and we're back in time. We need a portal open back to where we came from. Can you help me us out? Fucking Zalabrak, because it's looking pretty bad out there. And we haven't even gotten the white for this movie yet. I I'm assuming there's more like, <laughs> noises coming from outside at this point. Blah, 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 blah. That's perfect, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You hear that? <laughs> it's not sounding good, man. Mm, yes, this does sound unfortunate. What would you like me to do? We need a portal back to where we came from. I see. Preferably not inside the ship, but like maybe next to it. How much we'll energy are we spending by doing this? This thing's going to be dead by the time we get back. <laughs> yes, indeed. You have sensed the uh, nature of this conundrum. I'm afraid I will need an offering of some kind. Whoa. I reach for my severed dwarf dick. <laughs> oh my god, that thing has got to be... Disgusting at this point. Jesus fucking! I was gonna say, fucking brave one, grab that ham, but okay. Wait, what no, is I that? No, I lost the ham. What is that? It's. You have. Oh, it, God, it's a ask. it's a dwarven artifact. You have the <laughs> desiccated genitalia of a virgin. Oh damn! I didn't know that. That's fucked up. <laughs> Yes, that offering will suffice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You've been carrying it that for months. Took sessions for the fucking <laughs> thing to pay off. <laughs> I don't know if you should part with it. I'm just saying. I've, 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 grown, I've grown a little attached to it, actually. Yeah, I, I, I've grown attached to it for you. <laughs> That's okay. It's grown attached to you. How do you? Oh, no. What do you think I meant when I said I need my straw earlier? All right, cool. Oh. So let me go ahead and uh, I guess I'll. How do I? Do I just lay it on the crystal? Do I pull it over lay the top on, like a sheath? Lay it, don't don't get it the on the floor. I will lay use it, on the it. Don't touch the crystal. All right, I'll, I'll put it. Don't touch the crystal. <laughs> go wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I put it on the ground. It makes a. Uh, it does like one of those like rolling things when you drop like a like a like a quarter. It kind of, kind of spins a little bit, <laughs> makes the sound. It's all petrified. So like, wow, 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 wow. Exactly. All right, it's all yours. Yes, very well. Hold, please. <laughs> so the, he's the ship. Hold. He's pressing hold. He's pressing fucking hold. You can hear the ship just getting like fucking bodied outside like it's just getting destroyed at the moment people are screaming flying around all over the place um gentlemen this is gonna feel weird to say but huddle around the penis we're gonna get the fuck out of here <laughs> <laughs> what, is it a port key now <laughs> <laughs> pretty much yeah <laughs> so young younger bromir busts open the door again right as the portal opens from the penis 
<laughs> All right, everybody through. Let's fucking go. Wait, wait, older, wait. older Bromir hobbles through. Should me just say goodbye to his past daddy? He's already got. Say goodbye to he's, past daddy. Past daddy's gonna turn guy. old daddy in a little bit here. It's the same guy. Me. Bye. <laughs> See you in like a couple weeks. Whenever you get unfrozen. <laughs> All right. Everybody steps through, right? Everybody get yeah. everybody through. Yeah. Okay, I'm going through. All right. You you step through the portal. Um, you feel a a massive sense of falling. Um, and then you land. Uh, basically back on the beach next to the shipwreck from earlier. Uh, fun. And your your ship is nearby, and uh, um. It, so you you fall probably about ten feet, and you land in the sand. Um. And. Uh, Adobo. Mm. Um, as you're sort of sitting up uh, and recovering yourself after having landed in the sand, the tiny desica desiccated penis bounces off of your face. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Uh, it came through. <laughs> it came back. It was the it's one like that got boomerang. away, and now it's it came like back. Fucking boomerang. Yes. Young one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, what's that? Uh, pull, pull the crystal out. I could feel the sand in my mouth. <laughs> well, you should Very talk to penis. Uncomfortable. Yes, the desiccated genitalia of the virgin. Yeah, I think it hit Adobo in the face. Yeah, so. Yes. Is now inextricably, inextricably linked. To the crystal. <laughs> oh no. Yes. You may use it again in the future. Oh my god. Help. I could totally call Tyler Breck on this dick. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is not meant for communication. It no, basically, Mike, I have the, I have the phone portals. and you basically have the uh, fucking Bluetooth dongle that turns on the speakers. <laughs> <laughs> basically, Davis dongle, has the phone and Adobo has the Uber driver. Get it? Dongle? I got it. Uh, <laughs> got it a while ago. Jesus. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, seriously, though, we're fucked. Yeah. By right. a I, I scoop it up. I scoop it up, put it back in my bag. My magic, now magic dwarven artifact. You have to yeah. change the description in your th in your bag. Yeah, I have to go off too. In your equipment. Desiccated dwarf penis of Uber driver. Well, it just it just says a dick. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll change that to Mist mystical, uh, mystical dwarven dick. artifact. Yes, there you artifact. go. Artifact, sure. <laughs> Heavy air quotes on that one. Yeah, <laughs> and I think that is where we will stop for tonight. Yeah, for a minute, I, th I really I thought I was going to lose my dick. I, I'm, I'm not surprised. Really disappointed you didn't. <sighs> and so, our heroes managed to escape Evelyn, who sought to destroy them, and also encountered Bromia, father of Macius, and then encountered him again. And Romeo. then left him alone. <laughs> and then found power in a penis. <laughs> uh, so yeah. What a time to be alive. <laughs> what a wonderful time to be alive.